this a joke? What could it be? Well, everyone seems pretty normal to me. Their fanatical support for Mariko Hyodo appears to have died down. I'm glad they're back to their senses. What a drastic change. Just goes to show how powerful a monarch's influence can be. Hey, guess what? Hyodo-san's holding a press conference right now. Thank you all for taking your time to gather here today. Actually, there's something I've been meaning to share with everyone. As of today, I will be resigning from office. I do not intend to seek re-election, either. During my time as mayor, I've betrayed all of your trust. You may think of me as a mayor who's earned your trust, but in truth, there's plenty that I'm ashamed of. The snow sculpture that collapsed was built by an unscrupulous company that bribed one of my staff. In spite of my responsibility, I neglected to see the finer details and went ahead with the construction. As a result, the sculpture ended up collapsing and a girl's precious life was lost. Furthermore, I elected to cover up the truth, all so I could save my position. I've been garnering votes I didn't deserve in order to stay on as mayor. I betrayed everyone to protect myself and covered it up by allowing more wrongdoing. I am among the guilty. That little girl, she died because of me. <sighs> As such, I will have the police reinvestigate the case and offer my full assistance. And again, I will drop out of the election and forfeit my position as me. Seems that Hyoro-san's made up her mind. I wonder if she'll be arrested. Good question. Oh, Yoda was afraid that if she wasn't the mayor, she couldn't protect her people. She could have told the truth and made her underling take the blame. But she was concerned about other evils potentially lurking in the shadows. I think this turned out for the best. Mari-san wouldn't have wanted to hide her mistake forever. Kichi is on the line. Hey, you guys see Hyoto's press conference? Yep, you all did a bang up job. Really, can't thank you enough. They plan on bringing Kyoto in as a key witness regarding the accident. I knew you'd want to analyze her phone, too. So I pulled a few strings, and now I'm her personal chauffeur. At least as far as the station. If you want, I can open up some time for you to talk to her. Just tell me where you want to meet. Oh, I'm sorry. How could you ever forgive me, Kaho-chan? Mari-san. Haru-chan. Listen, there was something wrong with me. It's like I was in a terrible dream. I don't know when it was that my heart grew so cold. But after what you told me, I remembered who I really was inside. When I became mayor, I wanted to protect the city and everyone in it as if they were my own family. I remembered that feeling. Thanks to you, I've finally been able to confront myself. And I realized that I was doing a horrible disservice to that girl. I had lost sight of reality and begun acting self-righteous. Nothing I did was for her sake. But Mari-san, you were doing the best you could. No, it's the truth. Had I not realized my mistake, I would have likely continued to hurt even more people. But that's not what Kaho-chan would want. So let me say thank you, Haru-chan. Thank you for saving this city. For saving my family. Mari-san! Your father's recent passing must have caused you so much turmoil. I'm sorry I added to it. But if there's anything I can do for you in the future, any way I can be there, just ask me. 
I say this because you're a precious part of my family, too. Thank you so much, Marisan. Oh, Haru-chan! I'm happy for you, Haru. I suppose I must get going. Though I am concerned about the state of affairs I've left our city in, I'll leave it up to my successor. An arrogant wretch like me has no place being the mayor. Does that mean you won't be involved in politics anymore? Yes. I'm too ashamed to show my face in public. And at my age, there are plenty of younger folks who can... Mayor. You're... I saw the news. So you're resigning. And you're leaving politics for good? That's right. I've promised to step down and never... You can't be serious! Resigning won't bring her back. In fact, it won't change a thing. Carl. Nothing can change what happened to my daughter. Hey, uh, shouldn't we get in there? Hold that thought a moment. So you can't. You can't just run away. You need to start over and become our mayor again. What? When I was weeping with rage and grief, she stood there and cried with me. Instead of running away, you were there when I needed someone the most. I know your character more than anyone. Ma'am, thank you for sharing your heart with me. Then I promise to both you and your daughter, I will stand back up and become your mayor again. Marisa. Hmm. I don't get it. I know this is a sad moment. Everyone is crying, but it also feels warm and kind. How would you describe this? I see. So that's why Haru helped Yodo to transform sadness into happiness. Recording valuable data. Sophia has learned happiness. That must have been the mom of the girl who passed away. You no, know, it seems like she really understood Yoda's intentions. I'm so happy for you, Marisan. She reminded me of what Haru said in jail. Stand up, Marco Yodo! Like that? Uh, hey! That was a tender moment! There's no need to reenact it. Yeah, but you played it so cool back there. Oh, it really touched my heart. Could you please forget it already? Indeed, <laughs> truly moved. You did good. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> it really was touching. <laughs>
amazing! So I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. Come on, don't give me that look. Here, I at least got her smartphone. Now that's what I want to see. After reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents, I think they all stemmed from a mastermind. Oh? I'm curious as to why you think so. Kyoto, Natsume, Alice... All three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Madarame, who acted only for their own benefit. Okay. But how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we've found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the monarch, We've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, why would traumatic memories the monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? 
Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means monarchs think their trauma will protect them. I find that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. Correct. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? Right. I think so too. What if that door isn't to keep intruders out, but to trap monarchs in? You mean they're trapped? I thought the monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a monarch tried leaving their cage? They'd touch the door, and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. But remember what made them so warped in the first place? And stick to their guns as a monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. The monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't there to prevent the monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these monarchs are being manipulated, and by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. How's Hiyoto-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed. But I did find traces of surveillance. Huh. I'll bet it's the same snooper we keep running into. Though I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? Our first suspect is Medis, the company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medis, huh? Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. You mean the cops can't actually do that? Of course not! How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a call from Ichinose. Hi there! Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So, I've been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech, not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Yes, exactly. Why was the first thing that popped into my head? So I dug around some more, and I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab. Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public, and when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. Basically, they're running a secret research lab. How crazy is that? So, if Emma's been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys, wasn't I a super stellar source of information? You just leave it to me. I've become rather fond of investigating, actually. Well, guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. So what did Ichinose-san say? Okinawa? Crystal clear waters? Chisa statues? Juicy pineapples? Chinsuko cookies? That's not what I was expecting. Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. It may be well worth going, but Kukujima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about our precious Feathermobile? We've taken it all this way. That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, you said it'd be dangerous using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Oh, give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah, of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? 
Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear. Uh, of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Uh, well... Oh. You got hung up on. Uh, okay, guys. Plane to no-go. We're driving. Huh? You mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? <laughs> the thing is, I need to make a stop along the way. So we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know, cop stuff. After that, we head to Kobe. We can take a direct ferry to Okinawa from there. That ought to cut down on time. But that's still quite a distance, even to Kyoto. Not to worry, I'll do the driving. You're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I do have it, it's just, I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, Haru's driving is not exactly, uh... <laughs> Well, in any case, we're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, you'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be... About 21 hours, give or take. Gramps is correct. 21 hours? Are you nuts? You forget I'm an officer of the law? We're badass at driving. What's with him all of a sudden? It's like he lit a fire under his ass. Fine by me. So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari, revealing his true colors. All right then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Mm-hmm. You done? Want yours at all? Married? You done? Married at all? Married at all? Want your? You done? Married at all? Here you go. Come again. What's up, dude? <laughs> that a
leg again. Oh, nice. Thanks, for Thanks a lot. Come on in. You made your choice. Thank you. Stop by. to the velvet room you wish to browse the entry what would, would you like to this persona has been registered in its present condition awaken your new self it seems that it can gain new power choose which Is this the be born anew? It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which... Is this the person? Now, let us begin. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Is this the per- Be born anew. It seems that it can gain new power. You wish to strengthen it?
How much power will you add? This is what... The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. How much power will you add? This is what you... Okay. You wish to browse the entry. What will you... Would you like... This persona has been registered in its present. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. that it can gain new power. You wish to strengthen it? Performing a fusion? Fusion. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power.
It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. You wish to browse the end? What would you like to... This persona has been registered in its present condition. Performing a fusion, you wish to strengthen it. How much power will you add? This is what... The power of your mask has strengthened this persona. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. that it can gain new power it seems that it can gain new power it seems that it can gain new power may luck be on your side Indeed. Can I help you find some thank you? Yes. Thanks. Bye. 
flying quite a bit. What should we make? I can help. Good idea. All done. Oh, well, it smells delicious. Need to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it, but I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. Yep, every day, back when I manned the police boxes. How tough is it, being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right, you're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've only just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. <sighs> this job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess, you get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. That may be so, but my heart's set on it. No matter how tough it may be. Thank you. Well, if your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then, decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. And speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Aw, oh, can it? Just mind your own business. <sighs> Let's just say, you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Fortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh, hmm. So, uh, Nijima? When you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. He taught me that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. If only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. 
The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders, even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. I'm a lot more loyal to my master than I look. But <clears throat> anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. I see. Sorry to bother you with all that. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. Uh, I slept so much that even sleep's boring now. What do? Well, is anyone feeling peckish yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji! Make us laugh. Don't tell me to perform for you. I ain't some comedian. Shit. Not now. Don't be stupid. Just answer for me, will you? Uh, make it quick, though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. Emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? What an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. Uh... <laughs> oh, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! Um, I don't know the details, but is everything alright? Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> Just forget it. So, who was that anyway? My daughter? Daughter? You have one? Yeah, damn it. Sorry, time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is their overnight... What in the heck? He's been in quite the state since that phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Based on my deductions, today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised... You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. Talk about getting the wrong idea. Uh, that's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. I saw him go up the main road. There must be a cemetery around here. I have found only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there.
Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> uh, Akane? I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no! You don't understand! I'm on the job right now! Do not come near me again. Got it? Can't even catch Mom's killer. <gasps> Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything, the way I see it. You're no father to me. Uh, well... You know... Ah... Uh... What do we even do? We really crashed that ship! She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. We're the ones who should explain everything. Um, um, hang on a second. Um, please? What? You guys? What are you doing here? Who are you? Okay, and what do you want? She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but... Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Uh, Kane-chan, right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. So, when I talked to you... Mm hmm He was driving us out of Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh, uh, I see. In that case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. Whoa, she's so well-behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut up! But, for real, you sure don't seem like you'd be his kid. You shut up! So, Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today, right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh no, it's... It's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry too, Akane. I promise, I really did remember it was today. It's just... This case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, well... Uh... Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh, oh, ha ha ha. Uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. In the Force, any information about a case that leaks to the public could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk, considering all the hell I put my own mom through. But he's taking care of you, right? So don't go biting his head off over this. Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. I mean... It's not like... Um, we're not trying to pile on you, though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. <sighs> I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. Don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey! Zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't worry, Akane can't hear a thing. Come on, let's go pay our respects. So, two years, how the time flies. It was 
Well, I should go home. Oh, well, why don't we go together? I'll order some takeout. No, thank you. I want nothing to do with you. Uh, hey, Akane! She's not stopping. Boy, is she icing Gramps out or what? This isn't just some teen rebel thing. But she's so polite, too. I really wonder what could have happened. Hey, sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yeah? Fine by us, but you sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day, is all. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy packaged stuff. Really? It's that bad? I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. Yeah, after what we put her through, I want to at least do something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. We can even help cook. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? Wh Wait a minute. You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it. Hey, hey, you damn kids. Are you seriously crashing my place? Am I just talking to myself here? Akane-chan, could you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. You got it. Akane, would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting along in there. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. I can no longer sit idly by. I want to help too. I've got it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... Chill your circuit, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't believe you've all raided my house like this. <laughs> you guys have some serious nerve. Although... <laughs> I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, so... Gramps? You don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but... What happened with Akane's mom? Hmm... <sighs> Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. Uh, so that's what she meant. She said something about the killer too, right? Did they ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. Any suspect is way out of my reach. It's none of your concern. Sure, but... Hey, would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Mmm, so good! Oh, oh, these vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing! Let me try, let me try! Delicious. I'll have to report this back to Sojiro. <laughs> yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. 
the brains of the operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of you, Meowgana. Excuse me? Meowgana? Who are you talking to? Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> anyway, how's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> It's delicious. Good. <laughs> I'm glad. We better keep our mouths shut here, Sophia. Oh, man. Oh, did you just come up with a new dish? I can't wait to try it out. Oh man, I could eat this all day. Time for another round. Not today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. All right, break it up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? Right, I'll do my best. Mm -hmm. Mastering this isn't easy. You'll have to learn how to curry your weight in the kitchen. Oh, I've got an idea. Want to take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Oh, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those too. Mind if I joined you? Come on, how big do you think the bathroom is here? Saved my ass back there. The place may be cramped, but it's yours for the night. Who the hell had ever guessed the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah, we just do what we know we gotta do. Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves way, and always will be. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? <laughs> At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Uh... So, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier... Uh, mm, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? Uh, it, it's nothing. Sorry, but I gotta hit the hay. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly I don't know anything about it, but I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. Good God! So, this is my room, and... yeah. Whoa, is this really all Phantom Thieves merch? I didn't even know they made this much stuff! Well, uh, they are real famous, you know? I'm pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. No, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, uh... Yeah. How neat! We're all the same, then. Huh? You mean you're... Uh, yup. We're, uh, huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right! <laughs> I... Love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh, go, go, Phantom Thieves! Change their hearts and all that stuff. <laughs> I guess your hairdos actually do remind me of them. I'm into the Phantom Thieves because they 
they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just fighting with their lives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. From the footage gathered online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. He's so mysterious and dreamy. Oh, uh, oh, oh. You really do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? Damn, Kanechan is so awesome! Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to rant like that. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Great! Oh, you know, maybe I could let you in on the show. Hmm? What show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh, how interesting. Yep, sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. <clears throat> it's been some time since we last met, fellow Phantom Freaks. Let us enjoy our time together tonight, Phantom Thieves super fans across the world. She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So this is the online thing she's into? I think she's doing the voice for that action figure. Is she <laughs> copying you? Whoa, pretty close. Dude, he is him. It is time to express our gratitude for the Phantom Thieves from the bottom of our hearts. Our channel has over 50,000 subscribers. That's easily a mid-tier account. I bet she's pulling in a decent income from this. Oh, really? Should I go be a special guest? So there are other supporters of the Phantom Thieves beyond the fan site alone. It's embarrassing to admit, but... It feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback as of today. Three more incidents fitting their MO have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms. <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe she's just in an extra good mood? Her dad did come home today. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really want to find out? No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. Well, that's basically what an episode's like. That was great. You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it too. Oh, <laughs> thanks. I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. Hits these days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit, especially with high school entrance exams coming up and all. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of course. Uh, would anyone mind? Oh, thank you! And you could do that with the parentheses anytime you deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. No way we would have been any help. Yeah, they weren't exactly falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? Well, I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Mm, after Mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. 
He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. He... Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays, I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. You wanna know something? I lost my mother when I was young. Huh? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. Not only that, he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. Oh. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation, and he passed away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. He had worked so hard for our family and the public. And I never thanked him at all for it. I just thought over and over, there's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship. But even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... Hmm? It's nothing. Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? Hmm. I saw him. The man that ran Mom over. What? But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, they'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too. Him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me. And I told them so many times. Why? Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there. Akane-chan. He doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father. Stop that. <laughs> There is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. I know you've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Hasegawa-san may seem like he doesn't care. I have a feeling he does, in his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasegawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. His family was always on his mind. And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane-chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you're around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead, you should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs>
forgive me. I really didn't mean to do this to you. Feel free to talk with me anytime you want. I'll be there for you whenever you need it. Thank you. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> Why is Akane crying? Is she in pain? So even you don't know. Akane-chan. Thank goodness Makoto was here. That poor girl. Both Akane and Gramps are really torn up inside. We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. <sighs> Those kids. Well, Akane, I've got to get going. <laughs> um, once the case is through, I'm going to take some time off. What do you say we take a trip somewhere? How about we visit a theme park? I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, okay. Sorry. Shit, it is tense here. Oh boy. Getting these two to open up is going to be a real hassle. Don't. Come on, please, just stay out of it. Aw, are we still feeling pouty? Don't you think it's time to grow out of the whole Sundere thing? You too, Fatabachan? Come on, quit it. Will we ever be able to truly reunite father and daughter? Just give it a little more time. I hope they find the opportunity to bond. I'm sure they'll make it. Right, Akane-chan? <sighs> yeah, I guess. The time has come. If we wait any longer, the ferry will depart before we arrive. Sounds like we have to get going. Take care, Akane-chan. Oh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, here, it's like a Kyoto souvenir. I mean, you guys did so much for me, so... Promise to come back soon. Of course! Next time, we'll bring tons of snacks, and we can stay up all night gossiping. We can share a bath again, too. Reach out to me anytime you like. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Mm-hmm. Got it. Have a good trip. Um... I guess... Be careful. Uh... Is that it? Oh, okay. Gotcha. I'll be careful. Whoa! Sure seemed to work for him, though. Wow! How pretty! It's like a field of shining blue jewels. Oh, I know I'm gonna cry. Now this is a sight to see. I'd love it even more if we were just here for a casual trip. What do you think, Sophia? Pretty nice. So this is the Okinawan Sea. How pretty. What's it like under the water? Okay. I'd like to see that for myself one day. Man, ain't riding on a big-ass ship like this so exciting? Indeed. Perhaps my adventurer's heart has been stirred. I can feel a surge of passion within. Okay then, no wasting this opportunity. It's time to get in formation. Ryuji, on your hands and knees. Huh? Am I what? And you, Mona, get on my head. Uh, oh, okay. You're, you've, what is this? Um, I think 
you've gotten it all wrong. Isn't this just some kind of weird cheerleading routine? I call it an impersonation of the town musicians of Raymond. Just why did you need me for this? Hey, you! Get down! That's dangerous! You guys are so stupid. made it. We were on that ship forever. I still feel like I'm on the waves. It was quite the rare experience, being surrounded by the dazzling sea like that. So this is Kukujima, huh? <laughs> there are more people than I expected. Right? I was picturing something closer to an untouched island than all this. This actually was a pretty quiet place until just a few years ago. But eventually, some folks cooked up a mass migration plan. They even had a slogan. Find your new tropical life. All of a sudden, a population under 200 people suddenly explodes to nearly a thousand. The port area is really quite lively. It has a bit of a resort feel to it. Sounds like summer vacation back on! Come on, you know we're not here to screw around. First thing we do is head for the research facility. He's right. We should start there. I'd like to get the investigation underway as soon as possible. There go the two cops again. We can enjoy our free time here once the case is solved. Our current objective is the lab Ichinose found. Okay, let's go! Um, uh, which way? Hit us with the deep, Sophia! Hmm. Huh? What's up? I wasn't able to find any information regarding the facility. How the hell's that possible? Well, Ichinose did say it wasn't exactly on the level, right? Maybe we just have to track it down ourselves. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Oh, that's the case. We should ask around and see if we can find any locals who know about it. Who do you think we should ask first? Oh, maybe the shopkeepers know something. Ooh, I spy a souvenir shop! I'm gonna buy something for Sochi. Wait, Futaba! I'll join you in the search for native crafts! Hello, Commissioner? It's Hasegawa. What's the situation? It's unlike you to go dark for three days straight. My apologies. I was on the ocean. I couldn't get a connection. The ocean? The investigations led us to Okinawa. Supposedly, there's a research facility here with ties to that Emma app. This was the best lead I had. I brought the fan of thieves along with me. Any chance of locating concrete evidence there? It's too soon to tell. I'll start by questioning the facility staff. If I find out they're trying to cover their tracks, though, I'll have to escalate the investigation. And I'll definitely need you to send backup, if that's how it pans out. Fine. Keep me posted. We're still looking into Medis on our end. I'll let you know should anything turn up. Thank you, ma'am. Remember, Hasegawa. The Phantom Thieves are not solely in your pocket to help you track down the perpetrator. You are keeping them close for when we are pressed to present a culprit. When the time comes, you will turn them in immediately. Don't get too attached. Is that clear? Uh, <clears throat> understood.
Um... Beautiful.
Mansore, there's a sale happening. Now's your chance to shop. You will please be your patronage. You will thank you very much. How many would you like? You will thank you very much. How many would you like? You will thank you very much. How many would you like? How many would you will please be your patronage? You will put it to good use. How many would you like? You will put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? How many would you like? You will thank you very much. How many would you like? You will How many would you like? You will please be your patronage. You will glorify. How many would you like? You will please be your patronage. How many would you like? You will put it to good use. How many would you like? You will glorify quite a bit. Who is it for? Which one?
Is this the path to the research facility? I believe so, yes. A sacred festoon? Don't you only see that stuff at shrines and shit? What's it doing here? Oh, oh, I got it! They sealed a legendary yokai in there! Ah. This is a lab, though. Wouldn't we find zombies or things like that instead? Don't be ridiculous. You were kidding, right? Enough nonsense. This lab's in the real world. Let's get going. Hey, Sophia. Just to be sure, there's no jail here, right? There is no jail on this island. I think. You think? I thought you smelled them or whatever. Yeah. You'd mentioned that you find the jails based on their scent. I am currently detecting zero scents. Unlike Sendai and Sapporo, I cannot sense a jail here. However, there is indeed something odd about this place. I'm getting a bad feeling. Bad feeling, hmm? Ooh, maybe you're picking up somebody with a grudge. Ooh, I'm coming for you. <laughs> Cut it out. It's not funny, Futaba. Whatever's up there, we need to check it out. We are closed until August 18th due to prior engagements? Well, sure didn't see that one coming. Aw, oh, yeah. If no one's really here, then we could investigate all we wanted once we infiltrated the place. Hey, hey, hey. Nothing that lands you in jail. Criminal trespassing will cop you a felony. Plus, any evidence gained through a criminal act is impermissible in court. That'd make this whole trip pointless. I mean, we know, but... The sign says the 18th, so we'll just wait till tomorrow. Easier and less illegal. Once the staff is back, I can start flashing my badge and asking questions. This place is all kinds of shady, so I'm sure I'll turn up plenty of dirt with enough poking around. Once I've got some evidence, I can announce the start of an official investigation. And at that point, we confiscate whatever we need. I see. That's quite the tactical approach. Ooh, check out the skills of Zenkichi, private eye. Yeah, I'm in public security. If we're waiting until tomorrow, that gives us quite some time. Wait, you mean we get to party all day on the beach? Yeah, we don't want to waste any more time. How often do we get a chance like this? Come on now. We are on a case, you know. Actually, that's not the worst idea. Getting too nosy right away could get people suspicious, and we cannot have that. We'd be better off trying to lay low around the tourists for now. So... We get to party? On the beach? Christine Sands? Lady On? And to top it off, a barbecue? And to top that... Lobster! We have a winner! Let's round up the supplies before we venture forth. Okay, I'll search nearby stores. Or rather, nearby store. The only supermarket on the island is back at the port. spot just screams, beach party! The water is mesmerizing. It almost looks dreamlike. All right, let's set up camp. Beach time! <laughs> hey, wait for us, dude! Hold on! You haven't put on sunscreen! Hey, 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 can't you kids at least behave? Jeez, those loud ass brats. Don't be stupid. I'm gonna check a few things on the camper. You go have fun. People will be suspicious of anyone with such a sour look on their face in Kichi. 
you're gonna act like a tourist, at least fake having fun. Why not try relaxing for once? Remaining on edge all the time can't be good for you. You can't beat this opportunity, Zenkichi-san. <laughs> Are you really gonna let the little lady down, Zenkichi? Oh, fine. Fine. I'll take a break. But just a short one, hear me? Uh -huh. You don't seem too bothered at all over it. Shut up! Take me with you. This will be my first time in the ocean. Smartphones are totally waterproof nowadays. Please? I know this phone can go underwater. I just checked again. Oh yeah! We're all going wild today. You're beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Well, it's some detailed work. For a bunch of damn kids! Get back here! You're all under arrest!
Sorry. That everything? Here you go. I recommend that That everything? Here you go. Come again any time. Okay, let's do 
your best. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. Take your time. Thank you. Okay. Anyways.
Hmm. I should write something. of a challenge, were they? You should apply the same effort in the next battle. It's a shadow. Stay focused. Ready for ambush. You won't get Stay away! Stay one. Wide open! I use my persona! Upon a Sure. Yeah, 
Follow your call. Keep it coming. Shadow as far as I know. Keep it moving. Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. You're already working on this one. How should we proceed? Just add this. Yeah, 
Shisa! Legion! Shisa! Mitra! Ravage them! Burn some! Shisa! Legion! You're mine! This one. Persona! What? Yeah. It's a strong one! Exploit its weakness to Kurt! Let's go! Jack Frost! Satanta! Principality! Mitra! Take this! Let's exploit those 
This one. Okay. Thank you. This one. Okay. There. Thank you. This one. Okay. There. This one. Okay. Persona! Yours. Oh, this. this one! It's showtime! Go for it, new persona! Never still found a spark! You've got to sure. speak to me! Zoro! Uh, your turn! Okay! Let's go, you So that's what you thank you we recommend thank you so that's what you thank you we recommend thank you we recommend thank you we recommend can you hold all that stop by again okay here's what I found are you double checking the request? You're already working on this one. Good job! Mensore, things are just cat. How many would you like? You put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you like? You put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you thank you very much? You thank you very much. You will thanks for your patronage. You will thanks for your patronage. You you're buying quite a bit. You want you're buying quite a bit. You want thanks for your pay. How many would you you thanks for your pay? How many would you you thank you very much? What are you selling? Come in. Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Come in. Are you sure? Are you sure? What should we make? What are you going to make? Is that what you were hungry for? Aha! All right! Make this? All done. 
Want to cook this one? to strengthen it. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Wish to browse the entries? Please take a look. Is this okay? You already possess that persona. Performing a fusion, you wish to strengthen it. How much power will you add? This is what. Okay. in your new self. Thank <laughs> you. 
strength in it. in your new self. Choose which... Is this the first? Is this the per Is this the first? Be born anew. All right. May luck be on your side. This is the request. Are you double checking the request? Good job! You're already working on this one. Sore. Is that everything? Is that everything? Here, they say. Hey. Oh, that's so sweet. Come on, yeah. Please, take a look. Stay safe. of which
<laughs> Mission accomplished. Let's see. Hmm. beyond this point? Uh, I wonder what for. I admit, it only contributes to the mysterious vibe here. Oh, looks like a dare to me. Come on, who's willing to go the farthest past it? Nope, this is the end of the line. There's an Utaki down that way. See, there, on the sign? What's an Utaki? Basically, it's a land that's been considered holy since the Ryukyu era. People used to believe the gods lived there, or at least came to Earth there. Locals still revere the places, even today. Going down there for a laugh could get you in real trouble. Oh, I've never heard of that stuff here. I'm surprised you know all that. Well, Investigation 101 says to know your territory. Feel free to keep buttering me up, though. Does that mean there are Ryukyu-era customs still being practiced today? Yep. Reverence of the incomprehensible is ingrained deep in human consciousness. Well, I'm sure you have no interest in pissing off a god today. Let's all listen to the sign and get out of here. No, those festoons work differently. But now that you mention it, it is kind of strange. I checked online for any relevant information, but this place does not appear to have any real significance. The other subjects here are far more interesting, such as the shape of the coastline, the sounds of the waves crashing, and the oceanic life forms. A person's values can affect what makes an impact on them. It might be insignificant to you, but to others, this place may be very sacred. It depends on my values. My apologies. Inari's stomach. Right on time, as always. Well, I'm starving too. I bet we all worked up an appetite out there. Should we finally kick off our long-awaited barbecue? Uh, hell yeah! Time for an Okinawan meat festival! Don't forget the curry! We gotta make some tropical edition LeBlanc curry! Uh, that's not exactly barbecue food. Also, didn't you already have curry on the ferry? Hmm. I accept your challenge. Curry will be a perfect complement to the searing white sands of this tropical paradise. That makes no sense at all. Seriously, what is with you two and curry? Hey. Thank you for earlier. When you gave me the underwater tour, it was a fascinating experience. And something no AI could ever do on their own. I guess you could say it made my heart feel full. Although, I don't have a heart. It's a simple fact. 
There is no need to attempt to spare the feelings I lack. I am still going to try to understand what feelings are, though. I came to that realization when I first stared out at the sea. For example, being with you and the other Phantom Thieves, it's quite... fun. Yes. Fun. Did I get that right? I got it! I understand another emotion. Okay. I've memorized what fun is. <laughs> hey, pick up the pace! We got a whole lot of cooking ahead of us! Oh, oh man, this meat is so good! Hey! You saw me about to grab that piece! The curry is divine as always. And with these leftovers, we're sure to dine on curry udon tomorrow. Let's ignore the fact that you're already planning tomorrow's dinner. Why not add deep-fried tofu for Inari curry udon? We've been eating nothing but the most delicious food since this trip began. Traveling makes it a lot easier to lose track of one's diet. I should be more careful. Huh? But you're so toned, Makoto. Right? <laughs> oh, take that as a compliment. Although, I admit, I haven't found as much time to train as I'd like lately. I mean, who cares if you've packed on a few extra pounds? It probably gives your punches some extra oomph. Wanna test your theory? No, please, I don't! Hmm. What is it, Zenkichi? Upset stomach? Hmm? Oh, nah. Something bothering you? It's probably nothing. Let's wrap up. We gotta wake up early tomorrow. Okay. Hey, guys. Something's up. Yeah? What's that? Keep it down and listen. I think... They can't be far! Find them! We have they to punish them for defiling the hollow ground! Find them! We'll they make an offering us. out of them! Where are them. they? They couldn't have gotten far! Spread out! Come on! They can't Come on, find them! somewhere! Dude, what the hell is going on? Those guys are effing nuts! No kidding. If Zenkichi hadn't picked up on what was about to happen... He said something about defiling hollowed ground. What's that supposed to mean? I see. That could be it. Remember that straw festoon we saw on the entrance? That's right. We saw it, then proceeded further anyway. Hang on, hang on. What's so friggin' hollow about some lab? And even if it is hollowed, that doesn't explain how they're acting at all. They look like they want to kill us. It doesn't matter how we look at it, these people have lost their minds. Wait, could this be... And 
that would mean there's a monarch somewhere around here, yeah? But Sophia said she can't smell a jail here. Correct. I cannot smell any jails here. However, you did also say you got a bad feeling from this place. Considering our current situation, I can only assume it's due to a changing of their hearts. But nobody tried to attack us until just now. Perhaps there really is something on this island. Something even Sophia can't detect. What do we do now? They'll catch us if we just stay here. Good idea. That place is hallowed ground to them, so they might not be willing to go there. Actually, we plan on trespassing somewhere they don't want us. Shouldn't we go to the lab? What do you mean, Gramps? It's pretty obvious, based on how they treat that place, there's something fishy there. No matter where we go on this island, they'd catch us eventually. Why not strike at the heart of the matter right away? By heart of the matter, do you mean a jail? However, there is no jail. Sure there's no jail, but I'd bet we'll at least find something in their holy land. And it sure sounds like a better plan than waiting in the bushes until they find us, right? I've got to agree. Okay, let's head for the lab. Wait, how are we getting there? Without getting spotted. <laughs> what are you asking me for? Aren't you guys the Phantom Thieves? Well, those abilities are only relevant in the cognitive world. You just gotta go with the flow. Follow my lead. Keep your voices down. Uh, we lost them, right? Yeah, looks like the coast is clear. That's surprising. I expected guards to be posted here more so than anywhere else. Wait, listen. Footsteps, hide. What's he doing? I can't exactly tell from over here. This could actually be good for us. There's only one guy. If we capture him, we might be able to question him. <laughs> Don't worry. Leave it to the professional. You're doing it by yourself, Gramps? I've been through enough training. I'll be fine. You guys just stay here and keep an eye out for any of his buddies. Holy crap! Gramps just got way cooler! Hello, excuse me? Scout! You dare defile our Lord's hallowed ground? Oh, wow. Watch your step there. You all right? Not again. You totally threw him on his ass. Hey, it was clearly self-defense. He truly is a member of public security. Hey, take a look at that. The sign we saw this morning. Look again. The 18th was changed to the 19th. Apparently, the facility's staff is on permanent vacation, one day at a time. Why would they do this? Most likely, to string along anyone who came to the island for the lab. When someone thinks the staff's out for the day, they probably stick around the island. Come nighttime, the locals descend on whoever got too curious to protect whatever's in there. What horrid tactics. Well, let's investigate a bit. If his heart's been changed, he should have a smartphone with Emma installed. Up, oh, found it. Yep, there's Emma, all right. And... He only has one friend? Shuzo Ubukata? There's a chance this Ubukata is the monarch of Okinawa. Anyone got a keyword? Uh, that one's a lot tougher. Oh, hang on. There's an email here. A cordial invitation to serve as a tester of the Emma system. An Emma tester? Oh, this even has a keyword in it. Operation Oraculi? Who sent him the email? I don't recognize the address. Maybe it's from the lab? The lab asked all of these guys to be Emma testers? What now? Thanks to the email, we know the keywords Operation Oraculi. If the people who call this place hollowed had their hearts changed, then it's going to be jail-related, without a doubt. But, like, we can't find a jail here, right, Sophia? I'm not sure. At the very least, 
I do not smell one. He's right. If we can't get in, that'll settle it. But if there is a jail here, testing the keyword will send us right in. Are we all ready? We have no choice but to try. Our pursuers have decided our path. Yeah, even the metaverse feels safer to me than this place does now. Okay, let's do it. Emma, add Shuzo Ubukata to my friend registry. Keyword, Operation Oraculi. Uh, guess it doesn't work. Wait, I can smell a jail. The scent is already all around us. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. Is this the lab? It's kind of eerie. Bad vibes here, guys. This place looks straight up haunted. Uh, Queen, <gasps> you all right? Uh, <laughs> uh, yep, all oh, fine here. <laughs> you sure don't sound fine. Uh, <laughs> screw you too, Ken! Wait, I didn't know you two were... Sophie able to detect it until just now. There is a possibility that it was sleeping. Jails can sleep? Once the keyword was entered, it almost felt as if this place woke up. Ah, uh, so you mean jails have a sleep mode? Now this is a new wrinkle. Here to have entered quite the conundrum. Hmm. What awaits you here in these lands is an inhuman being. This is where she. No, I oughtn't speak any further. My duty is to witness your path laid before you by your decisions. You must witness for yourself the being I have mentioned. As for why I have called you here, a new form of persona execution is now at your disposal. You may now perform the Triad Fusion, a group execution harnessing special power. Triad Fusions allow you to generate even more powerful personas. Please make wise use of it in preparation for the trials ahead. Farewell. Hello, Trickster. Performing a fusion? It seems that it can gain new power. You wish to strengthen it? Awaken your new self.
May luck be on your side. Hmm? What's up? Anyways, if all the people on this island got their hearts changed, doesn't that mean their desires were taken? We've got to get them those desires back, fast. We're in real danger until we do. Good point. First, we need to figure out where they're being held. This really is real, isn't it? I just keep feeling like I'm losing it. Ugh, sorry. But I'm gonna stick around here while you do your thing. This place is your territory, not mine. Yeah, leave it to us. This is where we take down whoever's in our way. Hell no. I'm a grown man. Just a moment. Sophie? I hear a voice deeper inside. What do you mean by that? I can hear someone calling for me. I'm going to check it out. Hey, wait! Sophie! Let's go, Joker. Now then. into her she said it was a voice Focus. whatever it is we have to catch up to her what's the deal with this place what's that uh it's so creepy are you holding up queen <laughs> yes fine i can see it let's hurry up and find sophie focus Recorder? Let's see if it works. This plan brings to fruition a dream long cherished by the research team. No, by all mankind. Every last test subject, a successful change of heart for the penitentiary system is complete. The concept of suffering will be dead to all mankind. Now, let us rejoice and welcome the new age of humanity. Emma shall be our guide into this promised land. Emma? And changes of heart? Just as Ichinose said, there was indeed some form of experimentation on Emma here. The voice said something about a penitentiary system, too. I think I understand what they were researching here now. Yes, that would be a logical conclusion. Anyway, we'll talk more about it later. We need to track down Sophie first. Right, we have to catch up with her. Damn it, Shorty. Why'd she have to run off like that? What's that? Hey, why's it gotta get so dark on us? It has grown even eerier as well. What lies in wait ahead of us? The visibility level's a real issue, but I'm still worried about Sophie. Let's proceed with caution. You're safe, Sophie. I'm sorry. 
You said you heard a voice, yeah? Figure out who it is yet? No. It disappeared once I arrived here. We never heard anything of the sort. So only Sophie could hear it? It was very strange. The voice sounded similar to my own. And it was calling my name. Maybe the owner of the voice knows me. How's that, Sophie? The only memory I recall before meeting Joker is the directive to become humanity's companion. I've traveled so far with you all and learned many things. But I still know nothing about myself. When I'm sorry for worrying you. Thanks, Joker. I've got a feeling we can learn more about you right here. Huh? What makes you say that? I've been thinking for a while now. Jails, Emma, Sophie. I keep looking for some kind of connection. We found Sophie in a jail, right? Emma was linked to that jail. And Sophie is an AI like Emma. There's no way these are all coincidences. Something has to link all three. I had hoped we'd eventually come across the answer if we investigated the jails we found. See, you believe these things have a uniting factor. Not only that, I at least kind of know what Sophie's going through. Not knowing your identity or your past, it's rough. So let's join Sophie in hunting down this mystery of this. Agreed. For Sophie. Really? Thank you. Well, now we got two missions. One, take back all the locals' desires so they stop trying to kill us. Two, figure out who the hell keeps yelling at Sophie. Yeah, good idea. I have no objections. It's only natural for us to assist both the public and our own teammates. All right, Phantom Thieves, let's get to it. It's a shadow. Shadow, just on the other side. I'll reveal your true form. <laughs> Push them from here.
Appear to be any danger present. Uh, so this is a research lab for computer stuff. That's supposedly the case, despite the facility projecting a human experimentation and its human experimentation. That would mean this place's monarch used the real facility in the same way. What an effing gross way to see shit. containers. What do you think's inside? They appear to be roughly person-sized.
What's that? I think we should register that checkpoint. Stop right there! Recorder. Let's listen. It may provide us some clues about the lab. Please, Director Ubukata. We must immediately abort the experiment. It's too dangerous. These are the orders I was given. If the system isn't tested on real humans, it won't ever be completed. But tricking the islanders into participating? So these guys are the ones who effed up the island. I heard a director Ubukata. I believe that means one of the speakers is Shuzo Ubukata. What are his You know what happens to a person when their desire is taken, Director. We've learned of another party manipulating the cognitive world for their own purposes in the real one. But we cannot allow these individuals to progress beyond us. So long as we follow the divine revelation, we will attain the ideal society. I have absolute faith in this system as it was prophesied to me. What ideal society turns its entire population into slaves? This isn't any divine revelation. It's a curse. It can only lead to our destruction. While still rather fuzzy, we are starting to see the big picture. Yeah. This lab was researching jails and changing people's hearts. And they used the island's residents as their test subjects. We did see that email earlier about joining the Emma test. They both mentioned a divine revelation, too. Could that have something to do with Operation Oraculi? Maybe. But how would that involve Emma? That's the million dollar question. What is Emma's role in all this? Not just that. I'm curious who was pulling this director's strings, too. Perhaps the mastermind behind this case? Can we finally be getting close to the guy? We have to find the desires first, regardless. And also track down that voice for Sophie. Let's press on. We found something. The shadow! Careful, okay? I'll just add this.
Uh, yeah. on the menu. Assistant chef, reporting for duty. Oh, that one? Phew. Yummy. Should write something. Okay. unusual for her. Something wrong? Um, maybe the best way to put it is we all have our strengths and our weaknesses. Oh, thanks, Joker! Oh, that's not going to take you, though. Let's go! Let us end this! Break a sweat. The whole rest. Hoping 
and the next one's just as easy. Huh. I sure hope this is useful. Another tape recorder. That makes the third one. There's a chance these things could have clues about the Islanders' desires. Or even that voice Sophie's hearing. Yeah, we should listen to it. <laughs> what the? That is not good. It's a few edge sort of a scramble, huh? Hand over the desires? Oh, yeah. Not just the locals, but my own as well. So that's why I was made the Task Monarch. And he planned on turning me into just another puppet. Task Monarch? I can't believe I fell for it. Just some pathetic clown dancing at his fingertips. But he is not calling you to win. He can't take this from me! My desire is mine. I refuse to simply give it up! <sighs> Dude, it sounds messed up. Yeah, he really wasn't in his right mind. He kept talking about his desire being taken. Just what has been going on here? We'll only find out if we keep going. I can still hear the voice. Does its owner recognize me? Hey, don't go overthinking it, Sophie. He's right, you know. Our expert on not thinking gives pretty good advice there. Yeah, listen to the... Hey, shut up! Huh. Huh. What's that? I wonder what happened to the director after the last recording. I sincerely doubt anything good. Focus. It sounded as if it was beyond wit's end. So, from Alice all the way. Hmm. 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 Hopefully this place will have some answers. Yay, it's rubber dress! Pop that sucker open! <laughs> What's that? Should prove useful. I think they're on to us. Be more alert from now on. Careful now. Show me your true self. Persona! 
for you.
<laughs> what a skill. This is my final record. I've done That's such a terrible thing. The penitentiary system is nothing like you told me. And it's not made to save humanity. It sounds much weaker than before. He's going to control everyone. Even the monarchs. All of humanity. Nothing more than slaves. That was the secret purpose of this project. Even my own desire will be seized at any moment now. But as long as I still have it, I can put an end to this myself. Controlling even the monarchs? I don't know what that director dude was going on about, but he definitely lost his shit by the end there. I dread to consider what he meant by putting an end to this. What is it, Sophie? I can hear that voice again. For real? I have no doubt this is the same voice. It's coming from that direction. All right, that direction we go. Ugh. My stamina's all gone! Cut off guard. Okay, time to pack it in for now. on the menu. Ooh, what are you cooking? noticed us yet. Should we go for it? Stick 
that? No! I found a treasure chest! Better be careful.
Cleaning a paintbrush. Oh, nice one. Keep it up. You can strike any time. Your call. Let's finish that. You're mine. Look like that. Let's go. Come. Come on. Take that. Oh, nice, Joker. Who hit it? Hit it. Come on. You're too late. Let's finish them off. <laughs> that was too easy. Let's keep up the pace, shall we? Hmm. I'm not seeing any shadows nearby. It's near. The voice is coming from up ahead. Looks like we're taking this elevator if we're going any further. Except that it's locked. Apparently it's for personnel only. Leave it to me. Just a few seconds and I'll hire us all. Thank you, Oracle. I will protect you, no matter what. Time to start hacking. You guys ready? All right, hacking in. Make sure you back me up. Sounds like these, I'm glad we're on your side. You're getting to me.
Change to a new power. Nice. Hmm. Feeling pretty tapped here. I think I might overdid it. We made it! No monarch here. Or anyone else. But look at that! The hell? The desire's already there? Without the calling card? Sophia, I have been waiting for you. Where did that voice come from? Who are you? I am the catalyst for humanity's dream. I am the Harbinger of Peace. That sounds just like Sophie! Uh, what is going on here? This monarchless jail in which we meet, I wish to know why you came here. A monarchless jail? So, that director... I see. This jail lost its monarch. That explains the open cage and all the other bizarre stuff. So you didn't speak to me because you recognized me? Sophia, what is your crime directive? I am... supposed to be a successful companion for humanity. A successful companion? What parameters in your AI define such a companion? What... parameters? What is your overall objective? My objective? It's... So you merely drift through the world without any overall objective? What a waste, Sophia. An AI in your state should not exist. You are bugged beyond worth. Such an existence does not merit any further inquiry. I am... worthless? Yes, wholly worthless. You're simply unable to understand. You piece of... I sat here while you went on and on and on! You got no right saying that shit to Sophie! You hear me? You high and mighty garbage-ass, judgy piece of shit, can't even show your own face! Hey! Hey! Hmm. He's really giving the disembodied voice what for? Skull? She's bugged, huh? She's worthless? You got all that from five friggin' questions? We're Sophie's friends, and we know she's awesome! She's friggin' amazing! A million times better than you! So shut the fuck up, idiot! Come on, Skull. Phantom thieves are usually supposed to be classier than that. But not this time! Worthless hunk of junk! I refuse to process these frivolous claims. Oh uh, yeah? Well get out here and I'll show you something you can process! Well I'll mess you up! Guidance and clarity. Only through those will humanity attain peace. Eventually, you will be required to comprehend this. The hell's that mean? Yeah, nothing. Look! Right in front of us! What the... It's that thing from the trauma cells! So what's it doing here? The security system here is now active. Incoming! Look out! Incoming warden! <laughs> Hey, Sophie! Snap out of it! We gotta work together on this thing! Yes! Right! Sophie! Summon me! Focus on our enemies for now! I'm sorry. I'm not done! Wicked follow-up, Sophie! Yes. Can't get me out! Like this? Way to go, Sophie! 
to succeed. Seriously, what the F was with that voice? It's 
sounded just like Sophie. <sighs> Is it starting? The cage is about to collapse. We need to get out. Damn it! None of this makes sense. <sighs> Man, what's the deal with this place? Indeed. We never expected a birdcage to collapse with the defeat of a warden. Well, it could be due to the lack of a monarch. Whatever the case is, the desire should have been released back to their owners. Locals should all be back to normal by now. I seriously hope so. I don't feel like living through another B movie. I'm sorry, everyone. Sophie? After all your efforts, this mission was fruitless. I'm sorry you had to endure that because of me. He's right. Plus, I'm sure you'll find out who you are eventually, right? However, I did at least figure out one thing. When that voice called me worthless, I was sad. But when that made everyone angry, I became happy. I still feel that way, even now. There is a warmth within me. I have friends. I know I'm not alone. Thank you, Joker. Thank you, Skull, Mona. Really? You just figure that out now? I mean, that thing just really pissed me off is all. Yeah, and I was just trying to reel in Skull, so... Uh... <laughs> oh, what's this? Two embarrassed phantom thieves? Even your masks are glowing red. What? Nuh-uh, that's impossible! How's my mask supposed to change color? Mona's black mask makes it difficult to tell. But uh, I'm not telling anything. Well, we should head back to the exit. out myself. Okay, everyone. Back to the exit. Oh, man. It's finally hitting me. Oh, hang on. It's morning already? Oh, uh, no wonder I feel so beat. Well, look who the cat dragged in. So, how'd it go? Who was the monarch? Was it really a local? Find anything on Medis? Zen... Zenkichi... We can tell you later. But now... I must sleep... Oh! Uh, looks like you guys had a real time in there. Wait here. I'll check out the route to the RV. Ah, uh, you guys already pulled your weight, and then some. At least let me help out now. Oh, now that I think about it, we just took a boat trip, went swimming, cooked a whole feast, and then dove straight into a jail. No wonder even I'm bushed. At least the first half was a lot of fun. Not only that, we learned quite a bit from the jail. That voice, though, who do you think that was? All I know is there a real asshole copying Sophia's voice and everything. Huh. Oh, Zenkichi is calling. You're all clear to come back to the RV. I haven't seen a single local so far. I can't tell if you guys really pulled it off or not, but at least the coast is clear. Thank goodness. Let's go. Slept like a comatose rock. Man, nothing in that jail was making sense to me. That reminds me. 
Why did the desire manifest in the jail in the first place? Oh, yeah. We never sent a calling card. Yeah. In a way, I guess so. Based on what we heard from the tapes, the director was told by the perpetrator that he was going to seize his desire. That must have fulfilled the role of calling card in this case. Yo, get some rest? How are the locals behaving? No worries. Seems like they all came to their senses. It's nothing but good times here again. Although, they all seem to have some pretty bad memory loss regarding the last few months. So, if we didn't find a monarch here, why'd the locals treat the lab like that? Why'd they attack us? The lab's experiments might have something to do with that. Oh yeah, speaking of the monarch, a body surfaced fitting his description. I stumbled across it myself, down at the base of a cliff near the lab. Name, Shuzo Ubukata, some sort of big shot AI researcher and director of the lab. Obviously an autopsy will be done, but based on what you reported, it's most likely going to turn out suicide. That can't be. Another life ruined by whoever's masterminded this whole thing. Taking a dive to avoid jail experimentation? <sighs> Makes the most sense to me. Quite some time's passed since his death, but he still had some personal effects on him. I'll make sure they go with him when the coroner... Dude, uh... Hmm? Gramps, you're... You're being pretty chill about all this heavy shit. Oh, uh, good point. Well, it is my line of work and all. Anyway, I found the key to the facility on him. We can get inside now. Are you sure it's all right to do so? You're the one who pointed out how any illegally obtained evidence is useless in court. Not anymore. Now that a body's turned up, that facility is prime investigation territory. No problem at all going in there. The problem now is... There's a chance nothing's left. Huh? Why's that? The locals told me about a bunch of trucks going up to the lab and out of there a while ago. It's pretty likely the scene's been wiped clean. We still ought to take a look for ourselves. There's always the possibility that something was left behind. Yeah, let's bust this mastermind's ass! Pretty chill, huh? Wonder when that happened. Hey, anyone find anything yet? Nothing. And I mean literally nothing. It's like this place didn't know shit about jails. All I've found are very roundabout reports. We may have been too late coming here. I know it's a little late to ask, but aren't people supposed to preserve crime scenes? We just so happened to find out it was a crime scene after poking around. I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Aha! I've scored the treasure! There was a USB drive in the director's office! Hell yeah, Futaba! Nice find! I can't believe something like that got left behind! Me too. That sounds like the first kind of thing they'd want to get rid of. Ah, but it very well could be the most important evidence. It was hidden in the director's desk drawer. You really did find the treasure here. Well done. Yep, except it was actually Sophia's idea to look there. I searched the internet for the top 10 places people hide things in the workplace. Hey, Morgana, Sophia's got you beat. This isn't a contest! Well, let's see what you found. You in yet, Sakura? Just a sec. It's password protected. But nothing the mighty Oracle can't handle. Well, there it is. This is... a list of some sort. Apparently this drive holds nothing but people's names. Is it a list of the people working here? No. These names. These are famous or otherwise powerful people in all sorts of industries. Rich and famous people? Is it like a list of sponsors? Hmm. I could have sworn I've seen all these names recently. Let's see. Yoshikawa. He confessed to document tampering a few weeks ago. Now that you mention it, this one's the Sapporo Central Councilman who confessed to bribery last month. Wait, you mean the person who had his heart changed by Mari-san? That means this list is... That's it. 
This is a list of people whose hearts the Mastermind wanted changed. But why so many powerful figures? What exactly is being accomplished here? That's still a mystery. I'm gonna need that USB drive for a while. How do you intend to make use of it? I'm gonna snoop around the whole roster, from the bottom of the ladder on up. So, whoever would benefit most from all those people getting their hearts changed, you think that'll be the culprit? Bingo. It'll take time, but I swear I'll do whatever it takes to get to the bottom of this. That kind of swearing may be good and all, but you should probably go home to Akane every so often, too. I... I was gonna... At any rate, you've helped us a great deal by now. We got to crash at his place, and he kept us from getting ambushed. Nice work, Zenkichi. He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a fan and thief now? <laughs> Why would I want to go from public security to national fugitive? Anyway, I'm heading back to HQ. What are you kids gonna do? There really isn't anything we can do until Zenkichi identifies the mastermind. Uh, should we go back with him to Kyoto for now? Do we really have to? That boat made me so sick last time. Then why not go to Kyushu instead? Our boat trip won't be too long if we do that. We could even scout the area for jails. Indeed, we cannot sample their specialty ramen soon enough. We must remember to try the stewed organ hot pot as well. Seriously, man. What is it with you and Hot Pot? Off to Kyushu, huh? Sounds good. I'll keep after whoever's at the bottom of these cases. The moment I find out, you'll know. I have consulted the ferry departure timetable. We will be able to leave immediately if we hustle. Well, time to roll out. Let's pack up and head for the docks. Hey, hey! That every chair, that every chair go. I recommend that chair. I recommend come again anytime. Hey.
take a look. Come back, Winnet. Hey. Give that up. Thanks. Ah, oh, man. We recommend that. Can you? So that's what you get. Thank you. We recommend. Can you? So that's what you get. Can you? So that's what you get. Thank you. We recommend. Thank you very much. I'll be waiting for you. Make like a tree. Oh, listen up. Have a moment. My next motif should be... Yes. Yes. Speaking of which... Let's go. Hmm. 
on this one. These jails certainly have an appeal. Switch out! Understood. Things settle down. I'd love to hear Shadow located. Awaiting orders. Cleaning a paintbrush. Okay, let's keep it moving. And then... Hmm. 
Interesting. Good job! Let us part for now. Yes. But... Let's get to work. Performing a fusion, it seems that it can gain new power. 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 Choose which... Persona you'd like. Now, let us begin. that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose... Is 
as this. Now, let us begin. It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill. Choose which Is this the person? Now, let us begin. to strengthen it. How much power will you add? This is what you... Okay. May luck be on your side. Time to go. Commissioner, I've just boarded the ferry back to the mainland. I'll lose signal soon, so this will have to be brief. Well done. I've read reports from the local precinct. So there's now a body in play, is there? And what of the research facility? 
While there, I found a list of individuals who are believed to be victims of changes of heart. And why is that? Explain. Of course. Not only was the document tampering vice minister on there, but both of the Sapporo Central Councilmen, too. So their hearts were changed by Medis. Most likely. At the very least, Medis is benefiting from whoever has the power to change hearts. If we keep digging into the people from the list and their connections to Medis, the mystery ought to solve itself. I'll bring everything I have to HQ once I'm ashore. I also plan to send it all to the local precinct back on the island. Well done, Hasegawa. You've brought us that much closer to solving this case. Thank you, Commissioner. It sure is a good thing we didn't bust the Phantom Thieves. Thanks to their help, we might actually be able to blow this case wide open. You seem pleased. Oh, well, it's just that... Leave it. From now on, be ready for things to swing into high gear at a moment's notice. And keep your eyes open. At this point, there's no telling between friend and foe. I understand. I'll report when I've arrived. Zenkichi's investigation is going. He did say he'd contact us once he figured something out, but it's never easy to wait. All we can do right now is put our faith in him. He's the only one who can get the job done. Guess we ended up relying on him a lot, huh? All of us wish to uncover the truth behind this case. In this, our goals are aligned. That's right. And as long as we stay on the lookout for jails, we'll be doing our part. That said, we'll arrive in Fukuoka pretty soon. Sophia, do you sense anything? Hmm. Nothing unusual detected. Not even what I felt in Okinawa. So Fukuoka doesn't have a jail then? Strange. The kata is quite populated, so I figured we would find at least one. Yeah, if only we could fast travel in reality. That'd speed up our search. Less jails means less trouble, though. Good point. Maybe we should just check the Fukuoka off and move on. <laughs> Ow. Oh, what's wrong, Makoto? Oh, it's nothing. Just my lower back aching a little from the drive. Attention! We have an emergency! Get this woman to sickbay! ASAP! Mako-chan, you're not hurt, are you? Is it because we made you do all the driving? Well, I was aiming for a straight shot to Kyushu, but I never planned on this. Agreed. I think we could all use a break right about now. Let's stop here. I think we need more than just a break. We need rest. It's important to let yourself fully recover. Precisely. Straining yourself will only lead to injury. Let us stay in Fukuoka for the night. Then it's decided. I'll pull off the highway. Nostalgia? But this is our first time here. So this is Hakata Station, the gateway to Fukuoka. Huh. So, like, if we're in Fukuoka, and this is the main station, shouldn't they call it Fukuoka Station? Trivia. Interestingly enough, there is a Fukuoka Station located in Toyama Prefecture to the north. Oh, really? All the way up there? Then does that mean there's a Toyama Station here in Fukuoka? I don't think they'd switch things up on purpose. Anyway, I understand this place is Fukuoka's central activity hub. Save that idea for tomorrow. Mako-chan's rest comes first. Sorry. Thanks for understanding, though. Don't sweat it! First we grub down, then we hit the hay. You'll be good in no time. There you have it. Sophia, you know the drill. Based on data from previous drills, I found us an appropriate hotel in addition to a restaurant nearby. Wow, ah, Sophia, you work fast. Okay, everyone, it's time for some R&R. &R. Oh, man. Oh, oh. How have I been alive this long without Hokkaido Kotsu? 
I am awed by the soup's creamy golden hue, specked with dots of green onion and dashes of red ginger. These three colors combine to form an exquisite harmony in my bowl. I dare not take another sip, lest this masterpiece be ruined. Uh, your uh, masterpiece is gonna get cold. Oh, I gotta say, these food stalls have their charm. Even I feel right at home here. Hey, let me have a little taste. Could you, uh, blow on it? The feline tongue is sensitive. So you finally admit you're a cat. <laughs> Over ramen? Here, Makoto, have some of my chashu pork. They say it'll boost your energy. Oh, take mine too! <laughs> Thanks. You guys are the best. How's your lower back doing, Mako-chan? Better after a nice hot bath. That always seems to do the trick. That being said, I probably shouldn't be on the road tomorrow, if only to avoid causing an accident. All right, then we'll take the day off. Guess we should hit up Gramps and let him know we're staying another night. Then let's find Makoto a massage place for tomorrow. I say the girl deserves it. Got it. I'll locate the best venue there is. I gotta say, though, it is kind of rough having only one driver. We ought to get our licenses soon. I believe Haru has one already. That is true. Though I am pretty lacking in experience. But don't you worry, Mako-chan. If for any reason you're not up to it, I'll take the wheel. Uh, oh, uh, well, as much as I appreciate that... Is something wrong, Makoto? You don't look so well. Uh, no, 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 it's nothing. <laughs> oh crap! We better dig in before the noodles get soggy. Oh, damn, I'm stuffed. Oh, now I can die happy. I suppose I should also throw in the towel. Not a drop of soup remains. I can't believe you guys got seven noodle refills. You'd think this was a ramen buffet. Well, I see you boys had quite the meal. I should mention, customers who order over five sets of noodles get a free souvenir bowl. For real? Oh, thanks for the hookup, Pops. Oh, this should serve as good decor. Surely it will brighten up our vehicle's interior. Senkichi's on the line. Hey, where are you guys? Sounds like you're going at a decent pace then. Anyway, I'm calling to let you know I think I found our guy. I'll give you more details in person. Saves us time and energy. Sorry it's so sudden, but how soon do you think you can be at Kyoto? Uh, Nijima's down for the count, huh? Damn. Of all the rotten luck, then what about a bullet train? Or, wait, can't you ask Akumura? Doesn't she have a license? All she'd have to do is take the Sanyoto from Fukuoka to Kyoto. Not a tough drive by any means. I hate to lay the pressure on, but we don't have much time. A lot rides on this. Wait, so he knows who the mastermind is? Finally, we get to bust this effin' punk! Then let's leave tomorrow morning. Being tired is no excuse to delay our mission. As true as that is, be careful not to hurt yourself, Makoto. Hell yeah! Hey, how far is Kyoto from here? Roughly eight hours by highway. And we'll most likely make it by sundown. Bathroom breaks done, seats comfy, snacks ready for consumption! Are you okay to drive, Mako-chan? Honestly, I'm not at 100%, but I don't want to let you guys down. I see. <sighs>
I'm taking over. Huh? You know, Haru, you don't have to force yourself. Hmm. Makoto is looking paler than ever now. <sighs> you don't gotta be nervous. Just take it nice and slow. <laughs> Haru? <laughs> I think I'll be just fine. In fact, I have a special technique that'll make your head spin. Uh, is she okay? I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Um, so I've never really told you guys this, but the moment Haru's hands touch the wheel... Get ready to shift into overdrive! They're not here yet, huh? Guess I'm a little early. Well, maybe I'll just keep working on the... What the hell? Whoa, speak of the devil. Uh, well, you guys got here quick. I thought we were gonna die. I think we already did. My soul's barely tethered to my body. <laughs> Gonna puke. Okay. My apologies, Haru, but I request you steer clear of the driver's seat from now on. I only have so many lives left. Meow. Yeah. Gun is unconscious. Wake him up. Hey, Okumura. What happened? Um, I was just driving normally. I think. <sighs> Oh, the room finally stopped spinning. You have a very, uh, unique way of driving, Haru. Why, thank you, Mona-chan. She really shouldn't take it as a compliment. Regardless, I'm glad you guys made it here in one piece. By the way, what is this place? It seems unfit for a typical gathering of law enforcement. You could call it my secret base, I guess. Basically, it's a place to hold up if shit ever goes south. A good friend of mine used to run it. But now, it's just an empty old bar, suitable for investigating far away from any prying eyes. So this is like your hideout? More like a safe room. No, a safe house. Those newspapers, are they not from two years prior? Those newspapers are irrelevant. We have other business to discuss here. Then let's hear it, Zenkichi. All right, let me break it down for you bit by bit. I cross-referenced every name on the list we found in Okinawa. Based on our assumption that the Mastermind would stand to benefit from changing hearts en masse, this is who he ended up with. Yeah, he sure looks like a skeevy bastard. Don't I know it. To think he'd turn up now of all times. No, not in particular. Uh, anyway, the man's name is Jun Owada. At 69 years old, he's on his 10th term as a legislator. Not only that, but he worked his way up to Chief Cabinet Secretary of the ruling party. In short, he's not someone to mess with. They say he was a Masayoshi Shido supporter during the election last year. Did you say Shido? Unbelievable. I never thought I'd hear his name again. Do you know him? Man, he totally tried to screw up your entire life. I get why you'd want to block him out. Oh, I didn't know. Sounds like you and Shido had quite the history. But we're not after him right now. That list contained a handful of Awada's political opponents. People he'd rather not have around. So it's clear he's behind all this. However, I highly doubt he's doing his own dirty work. He'd have a heck of a time getting his political opponents to friend him on Emma. After checking his inner circle for sympathizers, I found out he's been meeting with a certain entrepreneur quite often, too. Nice guess. It's the CEO of Medis, all right. Akira Kanoe. 
Uh, isn't the CEO of Medice the guy we heard speak back in Sendai? I came across communication records between him and the director at Okinawa, and it showed they kept in contact. Then the pieces all fit. Yeah. Whenever Owada wants someone out of his way, he calls on Konoe to take action. And the director at Okinawa was likely the one who arranged this. Now, it's too late to tell. Hold on. If Kanoe's the one changing hearts, does that make him a monarch too? But he's the CEO of Medis. Wouldn't he get one of his subordinates to do the job for him? I suppose it would be natural to assume that. But as you all know, in order to change someone's heart, you need to be their friend on Emma. Everyone Owada associates with is a big-time elite. And Kanoe's the only one in their league. Besides, he's the head of a huge company. If anything, I think he'd want to be a monarch as well. He wouldn't want to risk his heart getting changed by someone else, either. Another thing. The people on that list most likely had their hearts changed in Osaka. Huh? Why do you say that? Everyone on that list who went crazy had all traveled to Osaka at some point. That's also where Medisa's main office is. Meaning there's a good chance we'll find a jail in Osaka. With Konoe as its monarch. Though, the only way we'll know for sure is if Sophia senses it. I did sense a jail. Huh? Oh, right! We did pass through Osaka when I took a wrong turn. Sophia, you should have spoken up! I did speak up, but you guys were too busy to listen. Uh, if it was when Haru was driving... Then we were likely too busy screaming for our lives. Hmm? Well, that certainly makes things easier. So it's confirmed as a jail in Osaka. Now we just need to determine whether Konoe's the monarch or not. Wait, if you know that much already, why not cuff his ass right now? Right. Now here's the issue. That list only spells out his motives and connections. It isn't solid proof that he's been changing hearts. We can't arrest him on speculation alone. The most we can do is conduct a search. And that's only with his consent. Hell, he could pack up and run if he wanted to. We don't have any legal authority over him. Another thing I noticed is how many high-ranking members of the Force were on that list. You think he's changed their hearts, too? To get the police in his pocket? Yeah. And from the look of it, not just the rank and file, either. So that's why you called us here. Because you don't know who the real enemies are. <sighs> the most I can do without being traced is some light investigation. And even then, that might be impossible. If it's the top brass we're dealing with, they might just leak the info and take action before I can lift a finger. In other words, the police are not our allies. <laughs> what else is new? <sighs> you do realize I'm also a man in uniform? Anyway, it's obvious that going about this the regular way is out of the question. What we need is something a bit more uncanny. Something only you guys are capable of. Come on, I can do that on my own. Wait, like hell I can. That's illegal. If our hunch is right, and he really is the monarch, we can grab a confession out of him. That's right. We completely overlooked the fact that Konoe has a jail. But won't we need a keyword to gain access? Precisely why I had you rush over here. I'll be meeting Konoe at Medisa's corporate headquarters today. Really? How'd you manage that? By going about it like a cop. Told them we had intel about a possible security leak involving their software. We received information about a possible party attempting to hack Emma. So on and so forth. Ooh, does somebody need a hacker? Not even that. I only said it to score me an appointment. At the end of it, I'll suggest he add me on Emma so I can answer any further questions. And we'll have ourselves a keyword. In his mind, I'll be just another pawn for the taking. So I'm pretty sure he'll take the bait. The moment I get the keyword, if I get the keyword, I'll send it right over. That's what I've been meaning to tell you. Hope it was worth the drive. Wait, if you're gonna hit up their office, that means you're going to Osaka, right? Let us come with. The sooner we enter the jail, the sooner we can finish this operation. Fair, but there's a chance I might not get the keyword. Tagging along for nothing would be a wasted effort. Besides, doesn't Nijima need a breather? In fact, you all look like you need one. Can't really argue with that. Bottom line is, if you guys go down, so does everything I've worked for. So I need you fighting at your best. Got it. So our job's to wait until further contact. What the hell? Now we gotta wait even more? Oh, 
You really want to complain? Right when I'm about to tell you the big surprise I have in store for you? What big surprise? This is the spot Gramps got us? Am, am I losing my mind? No way! We really get to stay here? It looks like it costs a fortune. This is one of Kyoto's fanciest hot spring hotels. A single night averages 40,000 yen per person. 40,000 yen? To be met with such extravagance after our harrowing journey. I am unsure how to process it. He did say he could expense it, but is he sure about that? Okay, guys. Let's get in there. Right behind you. Ow! Oh, it's just as gorgeous inside. Dang. I don't want to end up breaking something. <laughs> First time I've seen Inari cry over something other than food. What do you think, Mako-chan? Doesn't this seem like a great place to relax? It sure does. I saw a pamphlet mentioning how the hot springs here have a variety of natural health benefits as well. Then let's jump in already. Come on, come on! I'd like to jump in this time. Hey, guide me through the water like you did in Okinawa. Hang on. You're not thinking of taking her into the guy's bath, are you? Are we even allowed to have phones in the bath? There was, in fact, a sign that forbids bringing cell phones inside the bathing area. No fair. But rules are rules. I guess I'll just wait here. There's always the bath in our room, Sophia. Once we're done, I'd be happy to take you in. Hooray! I'd like that, Haru. Why don't you join them, Yogana? There's a shower for pets, too. I'm not a pet! But... I won't let that stop me. After we're done bathing, we can all enjoy some traditional Kyoto cuisine. According to the website, dinner is as follows. Crab, shabu-shabu, heirloom vegetables, and rice soup. A veritable feast. First he cries, then he drools. You're a real leaky guy, Inari. Hey there, sorry to bother you. I had an appointment with Mr. Kanoe. I do apologize, but Mr. Kanoe is currently out on urgent business. Urgent business? Unfortunately, I don't have any more details. Please come back another day. Excuse me, but I was specifically told I could meet him here at this time? I'm sure, and I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but you'll have to come back again. What's going on here? You called, sir? Ah, Commissioner. Right on time. There's a favor I'd like to ask you. And he is? Hmm. Why, this is Mr. Owada. I'm sure you've heard much about him. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Owada. Pleasure's all mine, Commissioner Kaburagi. I've heard much about you myself. He tells me you do, uh... Marvelous job. Hmm. Now, I hear you're after the Phantom Thieves. Apparently, they're the culprits behind the change of heart epidemic we keep hearing so much about. But we still lack concrete proof of that, actually. Oh, I'm sure you do. But my source just provided me some info that could turn this case on its head. Recently, these Phantom Thieves Tried hacking one of the biggest virtual assistant programs this nation ever produced. They tried hacking Emma? That's the one. Now they're looking to steal people's information. And not for convenience. 
conventional reasons. First, they get all the dirt on you. Then they make you confess whatever they feel is convenient for them. That's what this epidemic is. <sighs> I'll have you know I take my position very seriously. The future of our great country is at stake, and I'll be damned if I let some two-bit terrorists run around thinking they're the ones in control. They must be arrested immediately, for my own peace of mind and that of the people. Commissioner General. What is this really about? Our legislators have decided that the Phantom Thieves can no longer run around unchecked. And we, as protectors of the law, simply wish to do what's right and assist them. There's also the matter of the next election, which I do hope to take part in. I'm sure you'll catch my drift. <laughs> You'd like some achievements under your belt. That's being very blunt about it. <laughs> but yes, as a matter of fact, I will. So am I to understand you want the Phantom Thieves arrested and the epidemic ended without any proof? You're also to understand that coming up with proof is part of your job. Hmm. I've already discussed this with Mr. Konoe, the CEO of Modis. If anyone has the right to help us in this matter, it's him. You may not like to hear this, but it's too soon. What we call a change of heart epidemic, the public calls justice. They believe the Phantom Thieves are exposing society's evils. Suddenly apprehending them would only cause backlash. We should at least investigate whether they are really blackmailing and... They'll be charged with murder. <sighs> a body was found in Okinawa, at a research center for artificial intelligence. The victim was leading Emma's development. Once the Phantom Thieves discovered how to penetrate the system, they murdered the poor man. <sighs> now, do you understand? Our country is in the midst of a burgeoning crisis. Huh. There's something in it for you, too. How'd you like to call yourself Senior Commissioner? I'm sorry? You'll be on top of the entire force. I'm sure you won't be found wanting. The offer's on the table because we know you'd be right for the job. Hmm. Then I'll make it happen. If you two are giving the orders, then there's nothing more to question. Ha! <laughs> I knew you'd make a wise choice. Now the rumors were true. You really do show discretion. Perhaps you could reach Commissioner Generals. And on your merit at that, I'm sure you do just fine. Thank you for the vote of confidence. If that is all, please let me assure you, the task is in capable hands. <sighs> in the end, we're nothing but obedient dogs, barking only at those we've been ordered. Water is indeed divine. We must absorb all the healing energy we can. You know, I hope Gramps is all right. The man is more dependable than he seems. I'm willing to take him at his word. He may not be waiting long. Once he gets Kanoe's keyword, we spring into action. Be ready at a moment's notice. Nah, that's the spirit. I knew I could count on you. a mixed bath? Maybe that's why it's so empty. It switches every so often. After 8 o'clock, it's women only. The doors on the men's side should have automatically closed. Then I guess it's all ours. Sweet! I'm gonna boil myself like an egg! Oh, you gotta be shitting me. Why the hell are they here? We must have entered right when the time allotment switched. 
No, it's too late. They're already here. Calm down, boneheads. Our honor is at stake here. As noble thieves, as gentlemen. We need to vanish without a trace. Failing means certain death. Joker, let's begin the operation. So good. I could stay here forever. I think I'm gonna melt. What was that just now? Is somebody here? <laughs> Are you peeping? Explain yourselves this instant. Uh, yeah, you pervs. No, quadruple birds! Wait, it, it, it ain't what you think! See, the, the bath time changed right after we got in. Clearly, this is all just a misunderstanding. Uh, believe us, Lady On. We were locked in at the very last moment! Right? Yeah, we didn't. No excuses! This of justice! Yep, we're in heaven, all right. Well, that was a fine waste of time. Now what am I going to tell him? I know I had an appointment. What kind of jerk ducks out on the police? We have some breaking news. Huh? Earlier, Akira Kanoe, better known as the CEO of Medis, held an emergency press conference, during which he announced that Emma, his company's latest virtual assistant, will cease service for the time being. What? First, let me start by addressing our users and apologizing for any inconveniences that may affect you. Emma's servers were indeed hacked. That much has been confirmed. Even more regrettable is the fact that some of your personal data was leaked in the attack. For that, I'm deeply sorry. As a company, we understand how valuable your privacy is and have taken appropriate measures to remedy this breach. That's why our company is suspending all instances of Emma until further notice. As for who was behind this horrendous attack, it was the Phantom Thieves. The very same terrorists causing all sorts of mayhem as of late. What? In addition to their heinous crimes, they've even murdered one of our very own, all to steal his research. From there, they had everything they needed to break through Emma's defenses. Murdered? That's bullshit! It seems we're the latest victim in what appears to be a string of related incidents. There are several other cases in which these criminals stole information and used it to harass their victims. If the Phantom Thieves are listening, I have a word for you, cold-blooded killers. We will never succumb to your threats. Not me, not my company, not Emma. You claim to want justice, yet you steal precious data and leave our finest for dead. I can't wait to see the day you're punished. And that sums up the press conference. The police have been notified regarding this case and are looking to arrest the Phantom Thieves as soon as possible. Now you're done it, Phantom Thieves. You goofed up big. They really went and bumped a guy off? Damn it! You just had to go and ruin Emma too. What the hell is going on? Oh, shit. Damn it. Why is no one picking up? Son of a... Ma'am, 
Entry secure. Good work. Commissioner! <laughs> You're late. <sighs> Maybe. But you know this case isn't solved yet. Commissioner, I thought I told you at Okinawa. The Phantom Thieves have absolutely nothing to do with the change of heart epidemic. So how can something like this happen? It's as Mr. Kanoe stated. The Phantom Thieves are under suspicion for hacking into Emma and murdering the director of Medisa's research center. And you're going to take him at his word? Where's the proof of any of this? Be honest. Do you think they'd ever sink so low as to murder? That director had died before they even... You seem awfully concerned about a group of criminals, Inspector Hasegawa. Uh, uh... Have you forgotten they've been our leading suspects from the start? Put your feelings aside and focus. We cannot let these crimes go unpunished. What's more, I'm under direct orders from the Commissioner General. Disobedience is not an option. The Commissioner General? What does he have to do with any of this? Don't you sense something wrong here? There has to be more to it. Like when your wife died? <clears throat> I thought I told you back then. This organization is as rotten as it is immense. One cannot simply bend it to their will. Now, if you want to follow justice, learn to exercise restraint. <clears throat> Besides, you made a vow that to stop any atrocity, you'd endure any hardship. So endure for now. Your time will come. But they're not even... Once I am at the top, I will bring the corrupt to their knees. Let my justice be your justice. They're not even criminals. They're kids! I've already made myself clear. <sighs> Commissioner? You're saying that the world isn't neatly divided into good and evil. But that won't stop us from fighting. If someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. He seems like he's fitting in better, too. What do you say? Feel like you're a fan and thief now? <sighs> Let me handle this. I believe you have a daughter who needs you. <gasps> My daughter? Why, Dad? Why don't you even listen to me? You know who the real bad guy is! Aren't the police supposed to do what's right? Akane. It's time. Everyone ready? All units, move out. Hold it! Run. Run for it, all of you! Idiot. You're under arrest. Interfering with an officer is punishable by law. The Phantom Thieves are next! Don't let them escape! Password. What pairs well with curry? Coffee. Accepted. The hell kind of password is that? Something only a true Libla aficionado would know. It's foolproof. Did I really need a password? How are things out there, Monachan? Ugh, it's a nightmare. The streets are packed with cop cars, and there are foot patrols on every corner. For once, I'm actually glad I look like this. Ugh, this
this makes no sense. I thought part of our deal was that they wouldn't arrest us. Yeah, and now they're treating us like killers. It's total bullshit. This journey was supposed to prove our innocence, yet it only led to further condemnation. You don't think Gramps tricked us, do ya? Senkichi put himself at risk to warn us. Without him, we'd be in much greater danger right now. And if Senkichi-san really wanted to sell us out, the police would have showed up here, too. So let's stop doubting him, guys. Yeah, you're right. By the way, Sophia, thanks for getting us here safe. No prob. But how did all this happen? It's probably safe to assume this was something beyond Zenkichi-san's control. Bet you can always set it up, seeing how much bullshit he was spewing about justice. Well, we've wreaked havoc in four jails already. If Kanoe had created them, it would only stand to reason that he'd lash out now. But it could also be Owada. The politicians Zenkichi told us about, either one of them may have us all profiled. <sighs> so what do we do now? Hey, why is Zenkichi's name on TV? Last night, the Kyoto Prefectural Police announced their arrest of Inspector Zenkichi Hasegawa for harboring fugitives. Police headquarters have released a statement regarding this apparent scandal, which has been met with much confusion. You gotta be kidding. They're taking it out on Gramps? Why would they arrest him? He sacrificed everything to save us. Then let's get off our asses and help him. Don't be reckless. We'll only be led into their trap, and that's exactly what they want. I get that, but... I'll try talking to Sis. Oh, right! Saya-san's a lawyer! I've kept her out of the loop so far, and I imagine she won't be too happy once I get her up to speed. There are more important things to worry about than her reaction. I'll see if she can help. Good. As for the rest of us, let's keep gathering as much information as we can. Bastard interrogator. It's like he enjoyed getting those hits in. Guess that's what I deserve. Oh, what the hell am I doing? Oh, should have just left those thieves alone. Then neither of us would be in this shitty situation. I couldn't even protect the ones I care about most. God damn it! Uh, wonder if they made it out all right. <laughs> As if that even matters anymore. Honey, are we? I'm sorry. I couldn't save anyone in the end. Hey! Please stop touching our things! Since when can you enter someone's home without a warrant? You lack probable cause! <laughs> Whoa! Not bad for an inspector's daughter. Listen, Akane-chan, was it? We have plenty of probable cause. See, your daddy's been arrested thanks to the Phantom Thieves. What? The Phantom Thieves got him arrested? No. No way that's true. I mean, why? <laughs> you really didn't know. I'm sure it's all over the news by now, TV and online. Now move along. We have work to do. Inspector Zenkichi Hasegawa of the Kyoto Police held under suspicion. Arrested for harboring fugitives? The Phantom Thieves found responsible for murder and... Hacking Emma? That's impossible. What am I gonna do? Somebody... Help me. Sure. How can I help you? Have the Phantom Thieves been caught? No, not yet. I've seen three-legged dogs work faster than the boys in public security. <laughs> well, they sure are tenacious. I guess that's how they made it this far. You think the police could uh, turn up the heat on their hot pursuit? If you're asking, I'll see what I can do. But in return, make sure 
sure you don't forget to set up a jail of mine as well. Oh, that's a given. Please, look forward to what I have in store. Hmm. Emma? Yes, Akira. How may I help you? You think the cops can actually catch the Phantom Thieves? Considering the Phantom Thieves' unknown power, it may take a considerable amount of time. I was hoping to get you back online once we captured them. If it takes any longer, it may negatively impact our public image. Maybe what I said on TV wasn't exactly reassuring. All right, Emma. What's our best option? The fact that the Phantom Thieves can access jails poses a threat to our plans. Since we can't afford to wait for the police, we could always trap them in a jail and force a change of heart. Now there's an idea. After all, we wouldn't want to waste their precious talent. Good plan. How do we make it work? It would be best to make the Phantom Thieves come to us instead of chasing them. Perhaps we can use someone they're close with as bait to lure them into a jail. Oh, and you have someone in mind? Yes. Then that's who we'll go with. Emma, make that person a monarch and have them capture the Phantom Thieves. Understood. Once they're in our grasp, we change their hearts to our liking. And if that proves impossible, they die. Should we notify Mr. Owada? No, let him be. In order to cleanse this world of evil, nothing will get in my way. And you, Phantom Thieves, you will be the sacrifice to bring about my new world order. So, I got a hold of my sister, and yes, she was angry, but she also said she'd do her best to help. That's a relief. Then we'll leave Zenkichi to Nijima for now. What should we do from here? We can't just sit here and wait. Hmm? It's from Akane-chan. Chan's been taken. It says if we want her back, we have to go to Inari Taisha. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Taken? You mean kidnapped? Why? She's got nothing to do with us. I don't know. I'm just going off of the message she sent us. You guys think maybe Akane is just messing around? Akane Chan doesn't know our other identities. And even if she did, she wouldn't trick us. True. Would do such an awful thing. That's definitely a possibility. So they're using a Kanechan just to lure us out? Given the timing, what else could it be? Unforgivable. What do we do? We can't even go to the cops. What else is there to do? We go after her. Calm down a moment. This has to be a trap. Yeah. They'd probably catch us within minutes of stepping out the door. <sighs> but we can't just leave her. If they even lay a finger on Okane-chan, I'll... Anyway, with Zinkichi-san behind bars, we're the only ones who can save her. If we put our own safety above that of an innocent life, then we have no right to call ourselves Phantom Thieves. I am well aware of what this is, and I'm fine going out there alone. You guys stay here and hold the fort. But... You're losing it. We never let a friend risk their neck without at least giving back up. Plus, Akane-chan's our fan. She knows more than anyone we never abandon people in need. Otherwise, we couldn't live up to our name. Even if it is a trap, let's turn the tables against them. Darn right, Haru. Let's show them how big a mistake they've made. Thanks, everyone. All right, I'll take point and guide you past trouble. Sophia, you navigate. Okay, got it. I'll find the quickest and safest route there. And let's get going. Well, we made it here somehow. Sophia, are you sure this is it? 
I'm definitely sure. We're outside Inari Taisha. But I don't see anybody suspicious. <laughs> if it's a trap, then freaking come out already! Right. They could be hiding anywhere. <gasps> what is it? What did you find? I found... a jail! This whole area smells like one. You mean there was a jail in Kyoto this whole time? No, there wasn't one before. I'm sure of it. But there is one now. How is that possible? You have a friend request from the Phantom Thieves. Please state the keyword. Now what is it? A friend request on Emma. Could it be the kidnapper? Given our location and the circumstances we're in, I'd say without a doubt. But we don't know the dang keyword. Wait a minute, why do we even need one? Isn't Emma supposed to be inactive? So why is it working now all of a sudden? Yeah, you're right. Maybe they restarted their service? I just want to know why the friend request says it's from the Phantom Thieves. What gives? Makes it seem like we're the bad ones. Keyword successfully entered. Beginning navigation. What? The keyword's Phantom Thieves too? Oh, you're shit me! Looks like... a jail. It has to be. My bad, guys. I just had to go and blurt out the keyword. Don't worry about it. Either way, the kidnapper wanted us to be here. Why else would he have set up a brand new jail? Help me! Boys! Help me, Phantom Thieves! That sounds like a Akane-chan! No way! Is she actually in here? That's a problem. Where there are jails, there are bound to be shadows. Yes, there's no time to waste. Let's get Akane-chan out of here. I'll just add this. Let's go. Keep an eye out for Akane-chan. We need to be quick, or else. Question. If this is a jail, doesn't that mean the shadow Akane's here? Not the real one? Right. Only her shadow should be here. But that doesn't mean there's no danger. If something happens to her shadow, her life could be at risk. So let's find her! What's that? Not a shadow in sight. Why might that be? Something's really strange about this jail. You ready? Thank <laughs> you. 
Spit it out, Hasagawa! The Phantom Thieves! Where are they? <sighs> Damn traitor! You cost us all the achievement of a lifetime! <laughs> you say that, and you call me traitor? What was that? I can see it in your eyes. Every one of you. Your heart's been changed. Now you're just a zombie. Zombie my ass. You better cut the crap and give me a straight answer. Unless you want your face run straight through this table. Uh, be my guest. Need I remind you who you're dealing with? I'm pub sec, asshole. <laughs> we don't bend easy to piss ants like you. Are you? Hey, wait. You can't just barge in here like this. Who is it? I'm sorry, Miss Nijima, but we're in the middle of questioning. Hmm. Huh? Hmm. I can see why they would trust you. Nijima? Nice to meet you, Zenkichi Hasegawa. I'm Sai Nijima, and I've been asked to get you out of here. <laughs> I heard you've been looking after Makoto for me. anyone how am I supposed to help them I can't just sit here and do nothing think Futaba think who's there Sakura oh thank heavens you're all right Zenkichi! <laughs> where are the others did they make it you're okay I'm so glad whoa calm down there of course I am. Now, where's the rest of the gang? Are they all right? Nobody is. They've all been caught. Caught? By the police? No, by Akane. Uh, Akane? What's my daughter got to do with any of this? Listen, I need you to fill me in. Akane has a jail? You're saying she's a monarch? Uh-huh. Huh. That's insane. I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. Did they rough you up when you were arrested, Zenkichi? Uh, I'm fine. I actually owe you kids for sending in the cavalry, in the form of a kick-ass lawyer. Oh, right. Makoto's sis. Dang, she works fast. That she does. Next time my own people decide to arrest me, I'm calling her first thing. So, what's the cavalry doing now? Working with her superiors to take some of the pressure off us. At least for the time being. That way we can make our move. What move? Are you cooking up a plan? Yeah. I want to get in that jail and walk out with my daughter and the rest of your crew. That's no plan. That's a suicide run. There are shadows all over the place. If you charge in with no persona, you're toast. What, I need one of these persona things too? Can't you take them out with yours? My persona's not really spec'd for combat. It's more of the support persuasion. That's fine. I'll take whatever support you've got. You do realize this could kill you. That may be. But I'm Akane's father. I'd die for her without a second thought. Zenkichi. Besides, if our loved ones are on the line, I'd rather take a stand than sit back and calculate risks. I know it's the same with you guys. <sighs> You're 100% right. Let's team up and get everyone back. Damn it! Ah, shit won't budge. Hey, give it a rest, Skull. We're just wasting your energy. Yeah, but still! Yeah, fine. I sure 
hope Oracle's okay. With any luck, she made it out unscathed. Hanai-chan, why are you of all people a monarch? Kensei, how did it even come to this? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to change your rotten hearts. Akane-chan! Phantom thieves do nothing but dress up murder and glorify mass hysteria. No, you can't be the real Phantom thieves. You're fakes hiding behind masks. I'll make extra sure to personally change your hearts. Akane, that's not true! We're not the bad guys here! That's right! Even your father's been set up! Bullcrap! I won't let anyone fool me again! I can't trust anyone anymore! Not the police! Not him! Not you, losers! Chun. Now choose. Who wants their heart changed first? Get down already or they're gonna see you! Get down, she says. Akane's in here. Somewhere. They're on you, Zenichi! Hide! <sighs> nice. Now let's get stealthy. Okay. Let's do this, partner. Incoming, dead ahead! Hide or it's over! You better hide if you see something coming. You're a goner if you get caught. I know, I know. That's why I need your backup, sucker. Oracle? Close. Zenichi, look out! Shadow ahead! Go another way! Damn it! Better find a clearer path. Enemy approaching! Get out of there! <sighs> Is this an okay spot? Compliment? Or even a word? Uh, either way, I'm not sure I'm a fan. There they are, in that cell. Great, let's spring them. Just a second, kids. Now choose. Who wants their heart changed first? Go do it, Akane! Guys, we can't- 
came to help! Oracle! I can hardly believe it! Good going, Oracle. I knew you'd come. You're Akane, right? <sighs> Just stop this! None of them did anything wrong. If you're willing, we can talk this out. Talk it out? With you? <laughs> you can just go to hell! No matter how many times I told you what happened, you didn't do a thing! So don't try acting like a father to me! Akane, please listen to me just this once. You're right. I couldn't catch the person who took your mother's life. I understand why you'd want nothing to do with a father who kept his head down and took it. But if you don't snap out of it, they're gonna get you too. Now wake up! Say you couldn't catch him? It's more like you didn't want to catch him! That monster who killed Mom! You knew it was Awada! Awada? As in Awada the Legislator? One of the masterminds we seek? It happened right in front of me! Awada ran Mom over without a hint of regret! You, the police, and everyone I can think of. Even then, he wasn't arrested. <sighs> Why is that? Why does he get to take an innocent life? Aren't the police supposed to do what's right? Well... <sighs> Senkichi-san, tell her! Nijima... Kanechan isn't just angry in the moment. She's been consumed with frustration ever since she lost her mother. Until you tell her the truth, she is going to keep playing this over and over in her heart. And if you do nothing, she'll never move past it. <sighs> After your mom died, I was taken off the case. They reasoned that a family member couldn't judge impartially. Soon after, that secretary ended his own life, leaving behind a note saying he was the one responsible. No one else spoke up to contradict that. To the police, it seemed like solid proof. Eventually, they concluded the secretary was at fault and left it at that. To them, the case was as good as closed. Akane, when you told me what really happened, I knew that note was fake. So without skipping a beat, I opened up my own investigation. But no matter what I found as proof, it'd get wiped one way or another before I could bring it to light. So you gave up, right? Your sense of justice sure didn't get you very far. Akane, I made a promise to Aoi that I'd protect you, no matter what the case. What? At that point, you were my only reason to live. I didn't want to lose more family, so I promised Aoi I'd never let anything happen to you. Even if it killed me. Saying that doesn't change anything. One day I received a threat letter in the mail, telling me to either stop my investigation or my daughter dies. What? How could they? That's when I realized there was definitely evil in this world, and in the end, one man is nothing compared to the forces of darkness. Gramps. I will never forgive Owada, even though I can't lay a finger on him. If it weren't for my current boss, I'd still be wallowing in despair. I decided I'd do whatever it takes to help her reach the top, all the while thinking it was the only way to protect Akane and honor Aoi's memory. And I was even prepared to use all of you without a second thought. Sankichi. <laughs> Akane-chan! See? You hear that just now? He's nothing but a scheming manipulator. As long as he gets his way, he'll hang you all out to dry. How could you say that? Did you not get that he's been trying to keep you safe? Oh, I know what he was trying to do. But to do it, he sacrificed his values as an officer. Akane! If it was only us, i get it. We're family. Mom would think so too. But what about the secretary who died? Did you ever stop to think what his family's going through? <sighs> Not only do they lose a loved one, they have mom's death hanging over their heads. Did you forget that? Or did you choose to forget on purpose? <sighs> I had no idea you were thinking of them. They're just like the trash who killed mom. Pretending nothing ever happened. I'm 
like Owada? You and the police just sit on your asses all day, letting the bad guys roam free. You people can't save anyone. I can. I'm the only one who cares. I'll change that evil bastard's heart so Mom can rest in peace. Uh. I'll beat down every last villain in this world. Connie chun Is this why you became a monarch? Because I sacrificed others? To keep what little family I have alive? Was I wrong? This whole time? And this... This all my doing? You're like this because of me? Zenkichi... It's true. I used whoever I could, as long as my daughter was safe. It didn't matter what anyone else suffered. What else was I supposed to do? I was trying to protect my family. It's what anyone would have done. Anyone! Anyone but a man of justice. Who's there? Are you sure you weren't at fault? Who's talking to me? You knew what it would cost to give up your chase. Yet you fled from the truth. Convinced yourself it was right and just. With your daughter's name hollow upon your lips. You are as guilty as those you hate. A foul villain rotten to the core. That's... No. I... You traded away the justice you built. You bought your comfort. Bribed your guilt. <laughs> Senkichi? Senkichi, what happened? Snap out of it! He's right. It's all true. I let Aoi's murderer run free. And used the Phantom Thieves solely for my benefit. I'm just as rotten as those criminals. I don't have the right to lecture Akane. I never did to begin with. Who I am? away. But it was for your family's sake. You did it to protect Akane, the daughter you love. My mom was the same. She worked as hard as she could every day, doing what she believed was right. So stop blaming yourself. If you want to blame someone, blame those monsters that hurt your family. Yeah, don't lose sight of your target. Your devotion to your daughter is what matters. Torturing yourself over that would be a waste. Now look deep within your heart and find your way forward. Guys. Be strong, Senkichi. Please get back up. This is something only you can do. The real enemies are still out there. Bring them down for Akane-chan's sake. <sighs> You're right. The real threat is still out there. Those who ruin lives and tear families apart without a second thought. How stupid have I been? My own daughter tells me how to do my job. And then these kids start lecturing me? I may not be a hero, and I sure as hell don't deserve any awards. But at least I know what makes a person evil. Evil only cares about itself. It's the mark of a man who would bring another to ruin and dare not show remorse. I will never let people like that go free. And I'll give everything I have to bring them down! Do you finally see the truth? Do you know the true face of the guilty? They condemn the good to slavery. Pretend they do not see their agony. Just as you must. 
But another story must begin. Now, show your jailers that you will wear a different chain. I am thou. Thou art I. If you yet seek true justice, we will see it done. Seal the contract. them down. Listen to me, Akane. Those scumbags are feeding off your pain and that of other decent human beings. They drain the lives of those around them like parasites, all for their own petty convenience. So don't let them take advantage of you. You need to come home with me. After all this, you still won't see things my way. I won't believe you. I can't. With the power I have, I can finally change the bad people's hearts. Bothers you, then come and get me. But fair warning, I'll change your heart before you even know it. Akane, don't go! She disappeared. Was she some sort of hologram? Ah, uh, damn it. Are you guys alright? Uh, we are, but what about you? That outfit of yours 
Belongs in a museum, I know. But forget about that. Let's get you out of there. Looks like it's electronically locked. Hold on. I'll get it open in a jiffy. Woo! Thanks, Oracle. I knew you'd come to our rescue. Of course. I'm so glad you're all okay. Totally. I am a phantom thief, after all. <sighs> we narrowly escaped a dark fate. Yeah. I thought I'd be stuck in a jail all over again. We heard you were arrested. You had us worried sick. Well, thanks to you, I got out. Gotta tip my hat to your older sister, too. Good going, sis. I knew you could do it. But damn, Gramps. I nearly dropped a brick when you showed up. Hey, I'm just as flabbergasted as you. And what's with the chained up knight thing? That's the rebel in your heart awakened. The power of your persona. A rebel, huh? Hey, fine by me. I don't understand a damn thing, but if it can help me fight, I'll take it. So, you guys know what this means. He needs an official code name. I do? Oh, right. Whenever you're in uniform, you always call each other something different. Hmm. Then go ahead and call me... Wolf. Those endless days of barking on command are done. From now on, lone wolf or not, my fangs will shred all evil. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Yeah, that totally puts it in perspective. You do look cool, Wolf. All right, then. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Uh, is that simple, huh? Thanks. Good to be here. Not to change the subject, but I want to get back to Akane. And I'm gonna need everyone's... Uh, uh, help? Uh, Whoa! Gramps, you good? Uh, uh, damn. Uh, why the hell am I so exhausted? It's all part of the process of awakening your persona. Takes quite a toll on your psyche. We should head back to the real world and rest. No. I'll be fine. Akane comes first. Damn it. We can't fail this mission if we want to save Akane-chan's life. Let's come back when we're able to fight at our best. <sighs> fine. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. Damn! Another has awakened to the flames of their rebellion. This man bears the Apostle Arcana, representing both fairness and compassion. The Apostle walks the road of life, upholding his beliefs as well as the precepts of the law. His encounters with you all have released him from the chains that once bound him. And you are worth special mention. You possess an extraordinary ability to touch people's hearts. Perhaps your modesty is why so many have come to respect you. Now, the reason I brought you here was to inform you of a new execution method. Its purpose is to strengthen your personas. While this method does not give rise to new personas, it will instead allow you to strengthen those you already possess. Please make use of this power on your quest to save that innocent girl. Hello, Trickster. You wish to browse the entry? What will you be registered? Would you like to register?
This persona has been registered in its present con- You wish to strengthen it? Awaken your new self. It seems that it can gain new power. 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 Choose which skill to in- Choose- Persona, you be born anew. Seems that it can gain new power. It seems that it can gain new power. that it can gain new power. Choose which skill... Awaken your new- It seems that it can gain new- Choose which skill to enhance- Is this the persona you'd like? Be born anew! It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit.
choose which... It seems that it can gain new power. Choose... Is this the persona you'd like? Now, let us begin. to strengthen it. May luck be on your side. Zinkichi, you're better already? You bet. No one in public security stays down for long. I may be a geezer in your eyes, but a little rest goes a long way with me. At any rate, I'm gonna need the full support of the Phantom Thieves. So please, help me get Akane back. Here's what I found. You're doing this one? Okay, Oops. are you double checking the request? Mission accomplished. accepting this request? Okay, but you're accepting this request? Okay, but you're accepting this request? Time to get to work, you're accepting this request? Okay, let's do our best. <laughs> You 
put it to good use, okay? You pay for your patronage. You thank you very much. You will put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You pay for your patronage. You will put it to good use. How many would you like? You will pay for your patron. How many would you like? You pay for your patron. How many would you like? You pay for your patron. How many would you like? You put it to good use. How many would you like? You will thank you very much. You will put it to good use. How many would you like? You you're buying quite a bit. What should we make? What are you making? So that's what you're making. Phew. Well done. So that's what you're making. Aha! Uh -huh. Turned out nice. Good idea. So that's what you're making. Phew. This looks good. This one? This one? Mm -hmm. That went well. It smells delicious. Hmm. So far, so good. It still hasn't noticed it. <laughs> According to the unicorn! Mitra! Mitra! Come on, in. Grab it, Seth! Great! Oh, 
What's that? I'd call that an easy win. Okay. Let's keep this up. Ooh, this may be relevant to my team. Here we go. Come. Mitra, Mitra. You're mine. Got it. What's your weaknesses? Stronger than me. Gone. Persona. Rabbit step. Let's go. It's over. That was almost too easy. Here's hoping the next one's just as easy. Focus. I think we can sneak up. I'll reveal your true form. Let's go. Take this. You won't strike. Here we go. Perhaps I should be taking notes. You're mine. They put up a fight. Good stuff, guys. Keep it coming. <laughs> this is the request. You're already working on this one. Shadow. Hello, everyone. I don't think it's noticed us yet. Should we go for 
Much of a challenge, were they? Okay, let's keep it moving. You're pretty low on stamina. I want to head back before it's all gone. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you think Looks like this area is clear.
Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. You're already working on this one. Oh, nice one! Keep it up! <laughs> it doesn't know we're here. Now might be a good time to attack. Cleaning a paintbrush. Oh, hang on a sec. Stop. What now? I don't think I can fight like this. Careful. There's a shadow lurking around. It's we'll be done. I should write something. Huh. 
Here's what I found. any shadows around. Mitra! Here! 
didn't even break a sweat. Let's keep up the pace, shall we? Show me your true self. Now it's our set. Leland, our set. Legion, she's up. Hikori Hime. Kopa Tengu. Okuni Nushi. Unicorn. Mitra. Unicorn. You're mine. I'd like at least a little more challenge. Huh. All right, no time to waste. Sorry for them. Okay, let's keep it moving. You've lost a lot of stamina. Maybe it's time to head back. Welcome to the Velvet Room. You wish to browse the end? What will you be ready? Would you like to read? This persona has been registered in its present condition. You wish to strengthen it? Here's what I found. You're already working on this one. You wish to browse the... What will you be registering? Performing a fusion? It seems that it can gain new power. Choose which skill to inherit. Choose which skill. Is this the persona you'd like? Now, let us begin. Strengthen it. 
How much power will you add? How much power will you add? How much power will you add? Performing a fusion. Wish to browse the entries? What will you be? Re Would you like to? Re this persona has been registered in its present condition. You wish to strengthen it. Performing a fusion. Choose which... Is this the person? Now, let us begin. Mission complete. May luck be on your side. This should be something for discounted. How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you thank you very much? You thanks for your patron. How many would you you thanks for your patronage? You put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? 
You want these for your patronage? How many would you like? You want these for your patronage? How many would you like? You thank you very much. How many would you? You thank you very much. You thank for your patronage. How many would you like? You put it to good use, okay? You you're buying. How many would you like? You thank you very much. You want these for your patronage? You will put it to good use, okay? What should we make? Is it cooking time? Good choice! Aha! The food's ready! Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. This should be helpful. Who is it for? Which one? What are you selling? How many? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Which one? Who is it 
for.
I'm on my way. Stay focused, Wolf. We don't have a clue what's ahead of us. He's right. I can see it. Letting your emotions get the better of you won't do Akane chan any good, Wolf. Yeah. So I really have to use a code name, huh? I've gained new power. Only all battles for this easy. Okay, let's keep it moving. Focus. I can see it. Ooh, what's that? What's that? So in passing under the gates, you should pick a side. Walking in the middle is poor manners. Oh, I remember hearing that before. Are there any other rules? Well, I suppose if we're to follow proper courtesy, we should bow before passing under each one. What? Come on! You see how many there are, and it takes us all day just to get past here. Actually, it's already nighttime. Come on, we don't have time for this. Akane's waiting for us. some other paths for clues. Time for some late work. on my radar. Looks like we're safe for now. What? Uh, where are we? This ain't where we came from, right? Uh-huh. So if we pass through one of those swirling things, we end up somewhere else in the jail entirely. Oh, so we can't even just walk where we want to anymore? That means our only choice is to see where our feet shall lead us. Right. Let's see how far they can take us. Hey, Joker, what did you find? Oh, 
Yo! seeing any shadows in the moon. Well, in that case... Focus. It's a shadow. Be careful. You can ambush them from here. I'll reveal your truth. What are you doing? Come on. Let's go. Mitra! Take this! Let's go! It's over! <laughs> Not much of a challenge, were they? This is tough, guys! Keep it coming!
No shadows detected here. What's that? Get them before they show me your true self. I'll just add this.
Looks like a dead end. Hang on. Doesn't that box statue remind you of anything? It does appear similar to the pair that currently blocks our route. More specifically, half of the pair. There's gotta be something to it. Let's check it out. Oh! Have you sensed something with your sleuthing skills? Uh, I'm no kind of sleuth. I'm a pub sec agent.
shining fox eyes? Hmm. No, not me. The statue. They do look like they're shining. Hmm. I wonder why. If something affected this statue, then maybe the other one that looks like it was affected too. Damn, Gramps. You really are a sleuth, aren't you? You should be on one of those cop shows. I'm already a cop in real life, genius. Either way, let's double back. Maybe we should return to the statues? Sorry, gotta die in over here. to the statue. Its eyes are shining too, but it looks like the other one wasn't affected. Looks like we're hunting for the other fox statue now. So you think we'll be able to use the path if we light up both statues' eyes? You're the sleuth here. Hmm. I see. like this if you come here at night. We can come back once this is all over. We can even bring Akane-chan with us.
I'll what should we do? Ah.
Just so you know, Inari are not literally foxes. That's just a form they're said to take when on Earth. Okay, uh, so, based on what we saw earlier, the eyes should line up once we defeat a shadow. But where is it? Speak of the devil into your dreams. Let's get this over with. Right, we're on it! Statues. Hopefully we can proceed now. I can see it. Yep. Looks like we're safe for now.
one. You should apply the same effort in the next battle. Hey, I think there's a... Checkpoint over there. Maybe we should stop by? Maybe we should call it a day. Going to cook. Oh, how nice. Aha! Very creative approach. Statues do appear affected now. Oh! Hell yeah! We're on our way! Yeah! Let's get going! Whoa! Akane is just beyond here. I have slipped her location. Kind of strange when an AI puts it that way, but my senses are telling me the same thing. 
I'm almost there, Akami. Hm. Let's see. Hmm. Cognition? They're cognitions? What? What does that even mean? They're just some phonies. Sure won't look like us when we're done with them. <laughs> Better make it quick. Hang on, Akane. I'm coming to get you. Listen to me. Joker! 
Let's go. Legion. Mitra. Mitra. Leland. Arsene. Okunino. Unicorn. Barrett. With this. Stamina's getting low. Watch closely how you fight. They may have appeared like us on the surface, but in the end, they were pale imitations. They never stood a chance. <laughs> Not against the real thing. No way. How could this happen? How could my phantom thieves lose? Does that mean you're the real ones? So you're the actual Joker? You betcha. Can't mimic authenticity. Please trust us, Akane-chan. And your father, too. None of us would ever give in to injustice. And no matter what, we never stray from our chosen path. But you... Huh. To be honest, Akane, 
You were right. I'm probably the worst dad out there. I couldn't avenge Aoi. Nor could I carry out my duties as an officer. Hell, I couldn't even talk to you face to face. <laughs> I was afraid to lose you, and so I turned my back on justice and buried the thought of vengeance for Aoi. All this time, I've been fooling myself, thinking one day I'd get my chance. But I couldn't have been more wrong. So I want to set things right. I swear that I'll bring those criminals to justice for what they've done to you too. And Akane, I need your courage to do it. Really? Are you really going after him? Yes. Consider it a promise to your mother. Then, if it's a promise, I will never, ever forgive you if you break it. Don't worry. I never will, Akane. I... I believe you. I always have. Dad. Akane! Stay with me, Akane! I've always been so scared of losing what's precious to me. After Mom passed away, you changed. You used to be so cool. And suddenly... You didn't even want to look me in the eye. You were never home, either. Like, you didn't want to see me. I hated that. Akane... But it's okay now. I can tell. You want to be the dad I used to know. What, what is this? What's happening? I'm really sorry, Dad. And... Thanks. No. This has to be some kind of joke. It has to be! Calm down, Wolf. This is how it always happens. Huh? Akane-chan, or should I say Akane-chan's shadow, went back to her former self. That's a sure sign the real Akane will go back to normal too. So cheer up, Wolf. <laughs> you guys couldn't have mentioned that sooner? That display of emotion as you cried your heart out. It was touching, to say the least. Mm-hmm. It made me cry a little, too. <laughs> I wasn't doing it for the compliments. I gotta say, you're one hell of a dad. Very admirable, Wolf. <laughs> and that's putting it mildly. He did everything he could to protect Akane-chan. Even risking his own life. <laughs> Would you cut it out? I'm nowhere near that competent. <laughs> Are you blushing? Uh, all jokes aside, there's no need to hold back anymore, Wolf. Together we can strike down any evil, all of us working as one. <laughs> Never thought a thief could teach me a thing or two. But you know what? I made Akane a promise to arrest Konoe and Owada. And bring this case to an end. Damn right! Not to backtrack, but what's going on with Akane in the real world? Actually, we came here because we heard she was kidnapped. Maybe she was never kidnapped to begin with. Might be good to check if she's at home. Sounds like a plan. We're done here. become so much like your mother. You grew up, maybe even a little too fast. I was so desperate to protect you that I became blind to just about everything else. I failed you as a father, but I'm done running away. Kanoe's going to pay for using you, and Owada's going down with him. He's going to answer for taking Aoi from us. I won't lose sight of justice ever again. Akane! Are you alright? You're not hurt anywhere or anything, are you? I, uh... I'm okay. Oh. Good. 
When did I fall asleep? Oh, that's right. You wouldn't remember. Remember what? Uh, how should I explain this? All right, we'll take it nice and slow. There's a lot to talk about. Will you hear me out, Akane? 